Hello, friends. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Menthi. I think that's how you say that. Hi. <laughs> how things going? And yeah, we're we're continuing our our Cthulhu adventure. Let me just get over here and do this, and there we go. Yeah, I'm not sure if you were here the last time. And there's a there's a champ in chat. Do the exclamation mark poke catch to catch the champ. <laughs> <coughs> but yeah, um, I actually I don't know where we where we ended last time. It's uh, it's been a while. But I think uh, we found the Necronomicon. Our cat started to talk. We went to Fishmith, and uh, I think we just reunited with uh, Mister Katype here. And that's uh, that's where we at right now. I think. <coughs> Yeah, that looks about right. So yeah, how you all doing? How how art thou singeth? Oh yeah, we have the we have that thing. Who even still uses file cabinets, Joe? Just uh, don't drop it on my toes again, Vince. Okay. Whoa, Mark you sounded eerie, and you were talking in a couple of different voices. Never been much of a thespian, so I guess the hunter's mark does work. I think you were channeling the movers. How long ago was that? I don't know. Years. I had a feeling I shouldn't tip the short annoying one. Well, you can now legit read the past. Future would have hmm. probably been more helpful, but I'm not complaining. Alright, give me a minute to look up this Barnabas fella. Okay, that's an interesting superpower. What else is going on here? Who even still uses file cabinets, Joe? Just, uh, don't... Okay. Same thing. That's my file cabinet. Call me old fashioned. Go ahead. You old fashioned katype. My uh, life's work, mostly consisting of hoodlums, thugs, and weirdos. What's a hoodlum? I don't think I've ever heard that word. Anyway. Let's see here. Wait, do I have the correct title? Hold on, give me just a second. Sorry. I'm sorry guys, this is all very professional. What does it say? Yeah, it says, it says give us here. Okay. I'm sorry for the interruption. We continue with our usual program. As soon as I put this back here. It's, it's kind of useless anyway. Let's get rid of you. Okay. Let's see here. Who are we looking for? The guilty man. Okay. Professional disco dancer. Known crimes. Petty thefts. Drunken disorderly conducts. Public lewdness. Known affiliates. The retro zappers. Grandma Nazis, oh boy, and dance dance revolutionaires, the worst kind of revolutionaires. Uh, okay. Known relatives: Princess Dina, Mohammed A, and Jude L. Interesting. <coughs> A notorious haunter of all disco and roller skating places. Man got this the guilty moniker by constantly shining this. The sequins that adorn his outfits into the eyes of the police and the general unsuspecting public. One twist and twirl on his pink turquoise roller skates. Uh, in your presence and your wallet's reputation and decency are all simultaneous, simultaneously gone. Attempts to capture him have all failed so far, since his modus operandi is, so hypnot is to hypnotize law enforcement to such an extent that the usually conga line out of wherever it was they were trying to trap the man. Okay. <laughs> Shaking their derrieres, unable to resist the beats and the fever, especially if it's a Saturday night, a funky force to be reckoned with. Current status, probably pointing at the sky and shaking his hips. Cool dude, 
Okay. But really, who are we... Who are we looking for? I, uh... I don't know. Does anybody have any funny names in here? Baron Michael von Osborne. Ah. Looks like a nice guy. Baron Michael von Osborne. Estimated mid-30s. <laughs> Uh, former art dealer, okay. Known crimes, art thefts, assault with a hockey stick, impersonating a baron, spontaneous combustion. Why is spontaneous combustion a crime? I don't think that's something you can control. That's, this shouldn't be, this shouldn't be con considered as a crime. Known affiliations, the Red River Rats, the Frost of Fiends, the Diminished Return Gang, okay. On relatives, two children, redacted. A strange ex-wife, estranged parents, a strange brother. Okay. Cool. <coughs> Description of life. Being born in a land of ice and snow, evidently put his soul on ice. Heavy competitive streak resulted in expulsion from sports in his younger years due to the multiple violence outbursts. Evidently, this competitive nature was was transferred to business later on his many competitors reports difficult stealing difficult stealing sorry displays of an obsessive pers obsessive personality was evident as he would endlessly scrutinize pieces scrutinized pieces unfortunately this tendency only aided in his ability to create and sell near perfect counterfeits while pressure was being applied to attempt to catch the fakes coming from his studio, it was then that rival studios started to more frequently report missing pieces. Knowing of his obsessive personality, a sting operation was devised when one rival volunteered to put on a show of expensive art pieces. Mr. Osborne was caught in the act multiple counts of theft when he noticed that every painting in the exhibit was hung crookedly and he stopped to straighten them. Well. Current status, permanent resident at Nordwestland Asylum. Okay, can we go there? I think I'd like to meet that guy. Who else do we have? Alexandru Palade. Hold on, who are we actually looking for? Kitty. Who are we looking for? That there is Kitty. Is it? For a talking animal, she is pretty uncommunicative. Well, she doesn't like me. Can't say the feeling's mutual. She's mean and tight-lipped. I can appreciate that. Well, Kitty's nice. Hey, Kitty. Is it important? No. Let me know when it is. <laughs> okay, Kitty. Oh, Kitty. I don't think the hunter's mark works on her. Okay, Buzz, who are we looking for? It's Buzz. I guess we're sort of partners now. Never really needed a partner, but I can use the company. You can use somebody who knows how to use a PC, my guy. He's uh, nothing like me. Maybe it's for the best. I want to look up Barnabas first. Barnabas. That's who we're looking for. Let's see here. I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna run through these a, a bit. Let's see. Frank Ram Mossman. Herder of the flock. That's an interesting occupation. Known crimes. Lynching the cunning wolf. What the hell? Known affiliates, the terrible shepherd. Known relatives. These, the you, and Kyan the lamb. Okay. What's a. What's a you? Uh, are you? Iwi? I don't. I don't know. <coughs> Born a long time ago, in the sheephead capital of the world, the town of Dort. <laughs> town of Dort. Frank Ram Mossman's life as a little lamb wasn't easy. Many sheep turned their backs on the fr on Frank. Many sheep betrayed him. One even turned to be a wolf in sheep's clothing, the cunning wolf. Frank had to swiftly and cruelly deal with the cunning wolf. Something he wasn't proud of, 
but it had to be done in order to ascend, to work his way up in the flock until he finally became the great herder. He now lives in peace with the ewe he married and a little lamb of their own, and no wolves have dared to show themselves around them ever since. Okay. Well, I think it's it's good to have a to have an act on him, I guess. Uh, Francesco Pesci, Flores Henry, be over 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 <laughs> over wells, over weldy. That's a uh, what the hell. An arsonist. Known crimes, arson, attempted manslaughter, public indecency, public intoxication, and can't sing very well. That is a... This should be a crime. <laughs> should be a crime everywhere. Known affiliations. Benzene Club of America. Known relatives. Parents cremated. Brother in incarcerated. Younger brother liberated. Okay. After losing the oil rig job, he had his entire life due to a new non-smoking policy. Henry made several attempts at destroying the properties as person, properties and persons who used to employ him. After 17 years of terrorizing the tri-state area, trying to settle a perceived score, Henry was finally caught when he tried to... 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 stymie? A bill at a local pub called The Dutchman's Laugh. He was due to appear in a court on March 19th, but due to the freak deep at Friar Deep Fat Friar accident involving 83 wantons. What the hell? And an inappropriately delivered supply of scented candles, a piece of flint and a live badger. <laughs> the courthouse went up in flames, and Henry presumably along with it. Due to it being shackled to the defendant's table at the time. All there was, all there was left of him were the frames of his gem jar glasses and a single gold tooth. Current status missing, presumed dead. Okay. Edward Hunter. I mean, since we got the mark of the Hunter, maybe, maybe this guy got something to do with it. I mean, look at his face and his beard. Very suspicious beard. What the fuck? What what the fuck? Hold on. Um Okay, that's better. <laughs> What's with the what the fuck? Occupation. Occult computer scientist. Huh. Known crimes. Inadvertently exercising a friendly attic welding poltergeist by employing the unclean method of blasting extreme death metal at it. Harnessing occult powers to enhance computing powers in order to dominate cryptocurrency mining. <laughs> Several accounts of hacking and cracking, possession of an extensive collection of satanic literature. Huh. Well, that guy kinda grew on me, and right now I see he's got an Adventure Time hat. Adventure Time Easter egg found. Okay, the arsonist. Yeah, that's a... Uh, that's a weird guy. Maybe we see him again. Who knows? They never found his body. Nobody knows. On affiliations. Several groups involved in the creation of horror and public literature. The collection of metal music and obscured obsolete technology. The compulsion to pet cats and get really silly. Okay. Born in a small city in Germany in the 70s, Dr. Hunter quickly fell in his early teens into the evil clutches of extreme, of extreme metal music, devil worshipping, and worst of all, computers. He finally became a recluse and then later or in life as his, later on in life as a logical progression, a lowly code monkey in a secret lab researching unspeakable phenomena. A pentagram praising program with a PhD and a penchant for pernic pernicuousness. 
a pentagram praising programmer with a PhD in a pension for perniciousness. I give up. When the supervisors aren't looking, and they rarely are, they feverishly research new, depraved ways to twist extreme music and obscure technology into new and refreshing evil paraphernalia. Current status. Probably coding, the night's away. Oh hey, there's a wild silkoon in chat. This guy. Okay. What's FS? Classified. Okay. Huh. I don't know. Okay, who do we have here? Huh, Lothoma Waitley. That is a Waitley is a a Lovecraft name. There's a there was Wilbur Waitley, who uh who was the half brother or the brother of an elder god creature? With goat legs and a weird guy, aged very fast and was a generally pretty mean person. Not a not a very nice guy. So who's this little man? Occupation: Explorer of Lang. Okay. Gondwana lands and the Thesis Sea. What the hell, boy? <laughs> You haven't been to the sea. <coughs> no crimes. Exploring Lang. That should be a crime. Dubious botany. That doesn't sound good. And possession of contraband salts. Dum dum dum. <laughs> a child. <laughs> that meme though. Non-affiliation, the moodest noises, known relatives, indefinite amorphous spawn. Huh. Name: Lothoma Waitley, occupation explorer. What? Why does it say all of this again? Okay. Only dark whispers speculate of Lothoma's life. They speak of a boy born of. Pel... Pelagothuri... Pel... Pelagothuria... Neteryx... In the open polar sea... Ruined by a cryovolcanic activity in an isol... In an isolated and unheard of eons... His restricted larval stage produced... Revenous... Revenousness for adventure... And autosarcophagy... <laughs> the fortitude afforded to him by his upbringing, alongside his obliviousness to morals, allowed him to scour the earth looking for... to scour the earth, looking for the most horrid of encounters. Horrid rumors have it that, the befriended, that he befriended nightgowns, who left him to Lang, where he partook of voluminous, indescribable rituals. Yathians may have transported of his consciousness to Gonwan lands. Gonwana lands. Gondwana land? Yathians may have transported his consciousness to Gondwana lands, where he lived as an unimaginable. T an un <laughs> I can't read! <laughs> may have transported his consciousness to Gondwana land, where he lived as an unimaginably tall, leafy shrub in return for use of his body as a vessel. He is said to have drifted through the terrible old Thesis Sea with mates such as Long Tom, Spanish Joe Curvin, and Warren Ellis in search of salts encrusted megaliths. What the hell, boy? <laughs> what is your life? How has it come to this? Oh boy. Yeah, that boy has seen some shit. He definitely looks like he's seen some shit. I don't know how he's seen so much shit, but he's seen he's definitely seen some shit. That is that is true. Okay, the mad writer. Last name unknown. Occupation, insane writer, known crimes. 
thought to have written pieces of text that enable summoning evil entities. And he's late on car payments. What a douche. Okay, Leo, the mad writer, last name unknown, is thought to be a former copywriter. What? <laughs> a former copywriter that accidentally stumbled upon an ancient text which radically changed both his perception of in perception on life and occultism. And his writing style, initially an employee of an advertising company, once the aforementioned incident happened, all Leo's creative outputs that made its way to the customers resulted in inexplicable bouts of mass hysteria or hallucinations, general public confusion, and 20 plus car pile ups. God damn you. Not really a credit to the industry, the company's owner decided that this strange talent is too much of a risk for them to attempt to subdue or properly monetize. So Leo was let go and warned that the world was not yet ready for his unneutral, unnatural turns of phrase. Nothing has been heard of him for months now, but it's suspected that he has retreated to a remote location where he is, where he is feverishly constructing a piece of writing that when complete and released, the world will soon be able, will not soon be able to forget. Current status, probably an isolated location. Writing his occult chef d'oeuvre. Chef de. Chef d'oeuvre. That thing. That French word. He's, he's doing a French word. Okay. Huh. Lemira. Classified. Okay. Lake Kubilius? That's a guy. Dr. Lake Kabilius, age 35, occupation alchemist. Known crimes, possession of forbidden literature, forbidden artifact manufacturing, public lewdness. That public lewdness. Known relatives, suspected but unconfirmed children in several locations. Hmm, my guy. <laughs> okay. Lake's parents suspected his inclination towards alchemy since his early childhood, when he was, when his morning cereal would often either disappear in a puff of smoke, seem to start boiling, or begin turning purple for no apparent reason. A couple of arrests for possession of forbidden chemicals and a burnt-down high school chemistry lab later, Lake finally devoted himself entirely to alchemy, the search for the philosopher's stone, and the elusive soda that is sugar and calorie-free but doesn't taste like toxic waste. Being refused admittance into the Miskatonic University on account of his legal trans transgressions, Dr. Kabilius occasionally commits random acts of vandalism, such as turning the higher learning facility's entire reserve of portable water blood red. There is at least one record account of his recorded account of his altering the Miskatonic University's cafeteria salt supply so that it tastes disgustingly sweet instead. Legal complaints against him have moved from restraining orders to arrest warrant levels, but he proves to be extremely difficult to apprehend. Current status at large. Okay. Did you guys uh, did you read the headline about uh, the the small person who happened to be a fortune teller that escaped from prison? The headline said, "There's a small medium at large." Who's JS? Classified. Who would have thought? Carla Fetich? Carla Fetich? Okay. Maybe she's German. Who knows? Huh. Jonas Hansen? Classified. John Swanson! Ah, god damn it! God damn you, Joe Swanson! John Cup Cupcake Granite, okay. Ooh, what a handsome man. JS is Jack's son, okay. Who knows? Okay, what are you? Wash up action hero and a villain. Known crimes, numerous instances of attacking cupcake-related businesses, okay. 
non-affiliation, none, non-relatives, three adult children, all unwilling to admit to being his. Ah, interesting. John Cupcake Granite is an ex-action movie star whose passion for injecting his favorite desserts with experimental steroids led to a steady descent into madness, delusions of grandeur, and an irrational hate for anyone making a living out of baked and selling cupcakes. Out of baking and selling cupcakes. Oh boy! <laughs> what? Okay, he infused cupcakes with experimental steroids. Sure! Why not? However, his relationship with a particular cake remains ambiguous. It's known that he also calls would-be victims cupcake, and his raids on businesses that sell the things always end in feeding frenzies that have been described by horrified onlookers as nigh unbearable to witness. It is believed that the combination of frosting and experimental steroids has granted him superhuman strength and it's suspected that this once Achilles heel is stevia. And it's suspected that this one Achilles heel is stevia. But at this time, that is little more than a suspicion, than a speculation. Current status, at large. Do not engage if confronted. Okay. Jim Cedar. Jenny Flump? Stone stream? Aww, kitties! <laughs> That's cute. I like the angry one. Okay, Jenny Flump Stone Stream. 45. Head of a gang and sugar fiend. Long crime, several robberies, all involving the theft of tea, catnip, pastries, and cookies. Affiliations. Gang known as Jenny Stone Stream and the Felines. Known relatives, the felines. The unlikely human leader of a feline-only gang, Jenny Flump Stonestream, is at the heart of every tea, pastry or cookie-related robbery in the Miskatonic area, along with the partners of crime, Majesna, Elsa, Missen, and Jordis, I guess. She strikes fear into the hearts of small shop owners, which which known to hide the sweet stuff when they hear the gang of <laughs> hear the gang approaching. Since cats neither can taste nor appreciate sugar, per purve purveyors, purveyors of catnip are never safe when Jenny and the feline gang are in the area. One terrified shopkeeper spoke in trembling tones of flumpant felines rolling around in the stuff like they were animals. God, the horror! The gang can seemingly strike anywhere, at any moment, of any day, so no one is really safe. Ever. Current status. Wanted in several states, probably experiencing catnip and sugar highs. Yeah, I mean, who can blame her? James Riemann? Classified, okay. What's that name? Ionat Johnny Iclansen. Occupation. Web developer for the occult. Maintaining several death cults online presence. Okay. Known affiliates. Too many to enumerate. Ionat Johnny Iclansen is an ill is an elusive web developer and designer that has taken it upon himself to ensure the online the online presence of several death cults occult organizations and nefarious groups in general. Maybe not an incredible evil thing to preoccupy oneself with, but keep cultists easily connected to each other and making it a lot easier to proselytize online still earns. Proselytize online still earns him a spot in the wanted but almost impossible to track down roster of usual suspects. Fair is fair though. The websites he designs and maintains sure are pretty, functional and easy to navigate. To this date, there is no record of one death cult or evil organization complaining. And that's saying something. Current status. Most probably developing a website for an evil cult in an undisclosed location. Nice guy, actually. I like him. 
Okay, what do we have here? Um, Mistress Serena. Ooh! Huh! <laughs> oh, hey, Dominic. Hi, good to see you here. How you doing? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Just, uh, reading. Obviously. <laughs> I don't know, we gotta look for uh, for the fault on Barnabas and I kinda... I kinda lost myself. <laughs> How you doing? You having a good evening? Good to see you here. Okay, who's this age? Unknown belief to be over two centuries old. Damn, son! Allegedly a vampire. Suspected vampirism and blood theft. No affiliations, no known relatives. Huh. Explanation follows. Okay. Let's see. Originally a nurse at Darkham General Hospital. Her suspicious behavior has led the staff to start doubting her, her sincerity. Intentions and credentials. Mistress Serena. Mistress Serena, as she appears in the few official records, not withheld by the hospital, seems to have had a penchant for somehow always being on duty, wherever blood transfusions are, are scheduled. Patients later reported feeling faint despite their allotted quantities of blood having been obviously consumed. In some rare cases, there were also reports of brief loss of consciousness, followed by the appearance of suspicious punctures on the neck area. Very suspicious. Under circumstances that remain vague, Sierra was dismissed from Dark in general. Any further inquiries into the matter have been discouraged by the, in by the institution's management. Interestingly enough, Dr. Grimsley, who served as Darkham's general manager during Serena's stint there, was later found almost ex expired in his villa due to several loss of blood, severe loss of blood. Dr. Grimsley had no recollection of what had occurred. He had briefly lost consciousness and his badly bruised neck presented perfectly round puncture marks. Interesting. I think she's the good one. Uh, Marcia Minica. Okay. Mika, the Kraken, is a Kraken. Huh. He does have a nice mustache. Gotta give him that. But he doesn't look like a Kraken. No one knows his age for sure. Mad Kraken Rider. And Terror of the Seas. That's an occupation you want to have in your... Uh, thing. You know, the, the, the thing that you need. Um, I don't know what it's called. Anyway. Uh, known crimes. Capsizing fishing vessels. Freeing all forms of sea life from zoos. Okay. That's, uh, that's kind of a gray area, I would say. Um, known affiliates. Sea of life in general. Known relatives, unknown. Why do I still not have the better Twitch TV emotes in here? Hold on. Are they in chat at least? Sorry guys. Sorry. But yeah, they're here. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Let me drink something real quick. So yeah, how you all how you all doing? Are you enjoying this? Are you actually enjoying this? <laughs> I mean I know I do. <coughs> okay. Micah the Kraken is a Kraken. Is a mysterious dweller of the seas around Fishmouth. Halfway between Legend of the Waters and very real peril to the, f to the, to all fishing vessels. Numerous sightings of him have been recorded, but most are hard to believe. It is said he emerges from the waves, riding that, riding what could be described as a kraken, only smaller, and brandishing an Im 
an impressive trident, which he uses to poke holes into any ship that comes, on his, comes in his way, but especially fishing ones. His origin is unknown. Why he does this is unknown, but some suspect, some suspect he might be a child that was lost at sea and was taken in by, as weird as it sounds, an octopus. He seems to repay his favor by fighting to defend all sea life and constantly disrupting and sabotaging water parks in the holds <laughs> that hold sea animals captive, releasing them into the wild while laughing maniacally and twirling his impressive mustache. Current status, roaming the seas, looking for fresh victims. Yeah, he's a nice guy actually, I like, I like the Kraken, is a Kraken. What else do we hear? Michael Shaw. Classified. He looks nice. I like his hair. <laughs> Mia the Merciless. Oh, she looks merciless, alright. AKA the tiny Transylvanian Terra. Say that three times fast. The tiny, Trans tiny Transylvanian Terra, the tiny Transylvanian Terra, the tiny Transylvanian Terra. God damn it! <coughs> Occupation Empress of the known universe. Interesting. Known crimes telling everyone to shut up, demanding ownership of the cookie jar. Forcing people to play ring around the rosy and making sure you fell down when you meant to. Stealing every mobile phone ever created and anything remotely similar. Insisting that everyone watches a favorite film five times a day. Also used as a form of torture. Known affiliations. Leader of the gang, the Sisters of No Mercy. Comprising of Chelsea, the Wolf, Hannah, Hannah the Barbera. Okay. Sophie, the Chooser. And Chloe of the Nine Deaths, with Ma Thunderstorm. When meeting up with certain pop stars, well known for her ice cream cravings, taunted her with. Seeing as this is a. <laughs> the most addictive ice cream lolly in the world! and would blow your taste buds clean away. You've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel licky? Well, do ya, punk? This tells you all you need to know about this little lady's attitudes towards the other people's life. Toward other people's life. Plus, she's never going to give away a... Okay. Okay. Yeah, sure. I mean, why not? Marina the Marina. <laughs> okay. Occupation. Marina. Ghostly apparition. Known crimes. Suspected to have intentionally led to numerous ship sinkings and drownings. Huh. Okay. Known relatives? No one. Believed to be a Russian descent. Russian descent. Huh. Not much is known about this apparition. Is it ectoplasm? Is it a real seafaring woman that takes pleasure in uh, acquainting both ship and sailors with the bottom of the sea? Marina, the marina, as she is known, is said to haunt the coast of Fishmouth and find delight in sinking ships and drowning the occupants, usually sighted during fierce sea storms in the vicinity of Devil's Reef. Theories as to her origin abound. One of the most circulated ones assuming that she is either a survivor of the ghost or the ghost of a passenger on a Russian sea, lina, sea liner that sunk off the coast of Fishmouth. Attempts have been made to start some kind of effort to track her down, but people are so terrified and disgusted to go anywhere near Fishmouth that they inevitably amount to nothing more than only chatter. The public is generals. The public in general seems to be content with the fact that she sticks to Fishmouth. And that's them and that's damn fishy folks problem, not ours. Current status. Occasionally sighted sailing near Fishmith's Devil's Reef. Okay. Well she looks nice. I like her. 
Who else do we have here? Messy Jesse, the artsy grave. Okay. Messy Jesse, the artsy grave digger up. Okay, I see. His name was too long for the for the marker. I see. Occupation: experimental artists and grave defiler. What a guy. Known crimes: several other counts of turning the deceased into unwilling art installations. Isn't there? Wasn't there a guy that that does stuff like this? Isn't there? A, doesn't he have a museum? I think. I'm not sure. Anyway, <clears throat> Messy Jesse, last name unknown, has come to earn his nickname by approaching installation, by approaching installation art with a very experimental and gruesome twist. What he has become infamous for is digging up dead bodies that were really just minding their own business and bothering no one, and decorating both their exterior and interior with whatever his inclination at the moment dictates. Ranging from harmless sequins to complicated displays of twisted and melted together scissors, forceps, barbed wire and soda bottle caps. While no doubt a public menace and a, propo and a proponent of disrespect towards the deceased. Messy Jesse, the artsy grave digger up, uh, is not without green what? It's not without renown in the field of extremely experimental installation art. Famous critic Jean Etienne Cadevreux Cadevro Cadevois That guy has been quoted as calling Jesse's work exquisitely disturbing and authentic exhum an authentic exhumation of the long lost arts of grave defiling seasoned with an expert dash of postmodernistic bricolage. Bricolage? Bri brico bricolage? Bricolage? <laughs> English is a beautiful language. Current status at large. Probably suing shiny shiny baubles onto someone's dead relatives. Okay, well, good for you, my guy. Right here. Ty Taylor, physics professor, currently, currently deranged. Known crimes affronts the laws of physics and the universe. Okay, now we're talking. Taylor is a young and brilliant professor that has gone off to the deep end off the deep end once he decides to create a video game that defies the laws of physics and existence. Well, okay. <coughs> Dubbed the bridge, said game is akin to Fever Dream that draws its, its tendrils from Escher's sick imagination and sports an obstinate contempt for how the universe works. The player must make their way through incon inconceivably non-Euclid architecture, the worst kind of architecture, and the possible situations, all the while rightfully questioning their sanity. There are numerous reports of the bridge being successfully at being successful at ripping apart the there are numerous reports of the bridge being successful at ripping apart our nation of physics. Our notions of physics, god damn it. That it drove players literally insane to the point that Tyler was chased out of his laboratory by an angry mob waving torches, pitchforks and various domestic utensils at, the, at his person. No one has seen Taylor since, but a letter discovered in his abundant laboratory led investigators to believe that the bridge was not his final effort to bring reality as we know it to its knees. It reminds me of that uh, that one movie. What was he called with the with the Jurassic Park guy? Um, Into the Mouth of Madness. It's kind of like Into the Mouth of Madness, but in the movie it's a book, and with that guy it was a video game. It's a pretty good movie. I highly recommend that one. <laughs> Unknown amount of nine lives depleted. Okay, my name is Tom Cat. Kitten Snatcher, oh no! 
It doesn't sound so nice anymore. Snatching of kittens, stealing of tuna, and also avocados for some reason. God damn it, not the avocados. Known affiliates, at least seven street cats. Known relatives, the biggest bunch of kittens you'll ever see. Plus a dog that thinks it's a cat. Oh shit, she's more, she's more powerful than the other cat lady. Think. Tomcat is the only known moniker of nutritious kitten snatcher currently active in the around Darkham area. Notorious kitten snatcher, <laughs> not nutritious kitten snatcher. That's a. Uh, that would be weird. Okay. Uh, around the Darkham area. Very little is known about a true identity, but suppos suppositions exist pertaining to her motivation. She just loves kittens <laughs> and can't help herself. Pretty obvious if you think about it, really. Animal care advocates need to worry. Need not worry, though. All evidence points to the victim's kits. Kitty napping being whisk. <laughs> <sighs> All evidence points to the victims of kitty napping being whiskered off to a remote layer that could be, for all intentions and purpose, described as a cat heaven. Treats everywhere, massive wall-to-wall -wall scratch posts and literal puffs of all catnip. Pools full of catnip! Oh my god, pools full of catnip! Darkham residents are advised to keep a watchful eye on their kittens, but also schedule, but also should be cons consoled by the fact that if Tomcat does manage to snatch them, the cute little furballs are probably better off. Just get another kitten, okay? <laughs> sure. Good guy, Tomcat. Um, Sterling Wild Pigeon. Ooh, Sterling Wild Pigeon, Treadwell. Owner of Pigeonsoft LLC. Known crimes. Driving without pants. And insane without a license. God damn it, this guy doesn't have a license to be insane. What kind of a world do we live in? Okay. Known relatives. Do you want to hear about right? Sulami. Quick fingers. Young. Thule Myers. Okay. Interesting. Interesting people. Sterling had no marks of his on his record until five years ago, when he created the world's first pigeon passion simulator. After making his first million, he began creating additional uh, simulators, which led to the risk tabletop games, including Fork Dead, Mad Evil, Mad Evil Thigh Slapper, <laughs> and I bet you won't eat these. You won't eat this 3.0. What is Mad Evil Thigh Slapper? Can somebody maybe really quick look it up if if anybody's there at all? Could you could you look up Medieval Thigh Slapper if that's really a game that exists? Because if it is, I think I I might want to play it. Okay. Taking the world by storm, he is linked to the game publisher Kettle Prod Inc. and thus began the underground world of dark back alley nah -uh, gambling and the ever-lucrative flip, tip and squish we saw happening on tall buildings. After a class action lawsuit along with several pending criminal charges, Sterling turned on his colleagues, going from wild pigeon to stool pigeon, and led to one of the largest illegal gambling busts of all time, the great Pittsburgh pillow play. Hey Minim, hi, good to have you here. Um, I'm good, thanks. How you doing? You have a good evening, I guess. Why can't I... Oh, hold on. For some reason I don't have the... the better Twitch emotes in my OBS. Let me just get Twitch chat out here. Uh, God Damn you, Windows! <laughs> Did you just close that window on me? Okay, good to hear you're doing good. Um, 
hold on, how do I... Give me just a second, we, we continue this right away. But yeah, um, glad to hear you're doing good, it's, uh, it's always nice. There we go. I hope the stream will become entertaining at one point, right now I'm just reading stuff. <laughs> Don't mind me while I'm reading. Uh, okay, like this, and then we put that there. Hello, Chrome, you okay? God damn you, Chrome. Why you no react? Okay, we good now. I put you here. Okay. Um, then we go here. Yoink. Okay, this should work. Gotta gotta do some stuff to OBS, I'm afraid, at one point. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, <laughs> but at one point. Okay. <laughs> so where were we? Um yeah, the Great Pittsburgh Pillow Play. Current status unknown. After the trial, the put away per the hillbilly oi went. Leader of the West Philly Viking Mafia, he was placed into a federal witness protection program in several months before falling off the map. Sightings of him have never reported in have been reported in Germany, Taiwan, and East Hackensack, New Jersey. San Jane, New Jersey. I guess it's New Jersey. Possible affiliation with new game company Nightfire Networks. Okay, cool. And by the way, this is uh, this is Gibbous, a Cthulhu adventure, and uh, basically we we gotta get our cat to stop talking. It's a it's a Necronomicon thing. S Spooner. Mathematical Menace. Known crimes. Aiding the Abiting Alien Angels. Purloining parallel... parallel pipettes. And deadly use of weaponized equations. Non affiliations. Aria Unhinged Artists. Known relatives. Two cats. Eula and Ada. Uh, I gotta drink something real quick. I hope you guys are having a nice evening or nice day, whatever whatever time it is for you right now. Hope you all had a great day and enjoying your weekends. I really hope nobody has to work on the weekends because that always sucks. But yeah, that's just how it be. Once a genius mathematician. Once a genius mathemis. Once a genius mathematician, Dr. S. Spooner cracked after long stints of not accessing any grants on account of the eeriness of his interest. He turned to crime to fund his mad research projects. He has now embarked upon a crazy odyssey of crime and calculus. His calling card having become the insanity in the inducing equations he leaves at the scenes of his crimes. His last known heist was the theft of three forbidden mathematical tomes from the Miskatonic Library, along with a lunatic lover, Aria. Librarian Buzz Kerwin has been, absol been absolved of any guilt in the matter, having confessed that he did they didn't hear anything, dude. Dr. Spooner is mathematically menaced, best not approached directly. Current status. Missing in Massachusetts. That was an interesting read. 
Okay, but yeah, that's Buzz Kerwin. That's the guy who's currently sitting on our computer. He doesn't have anything to do with that guy. Good to know. I'm sure that's, that's probably Ricardo Milos. Because what, 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 which other Ricardo would you ever have a, have a folder on? To be honest, it's gotta be Ricardo Milos. Okay, what do we have here? QT. And we've been here. I feel like we've been here. Vicky Legon. Age unknown. Occupation smuggler. <laughs> and perv perver perveria. Perveria of occult paraphernalia. Oh no, <laughs> not this again. Known crimes. Smuggling. Petty art thefts. Aggravated art thefts. Tomb raiding? Guys, she's a tomb raider. <laughs> Known affiliations. Too many illegal trade organizations to mention. Known relatives unknown. Vicky Legon is a hardened criminal that specializes in the location, theft and smuggling of rare occult artifacts and worldwide on a worldwide scale. From a cursed crystal skull to possible, possibly radioactive ritualistic southern pacific jewelry, Miss Legon has had an extremely successful track record of, um, of accruing profits and touching the police, right up to the point where she suppose, supposedly entered a certain cavern in the Car Carpathians near Brasov, Romania, and all flow of information regarding her suddenly ceased. Persistent rumors about the evil presence guarding a Roman amulet of unquantifiable value were not enough to, doctor, to deter Mrs. Lagon from entering and apparently never exiting the cavern. Talk of an expedition to try and rescue her has been noted only for quite some time, but the treacherous terrain and heavy precip precipitations in the area that have apparently not ceased for weeks on end have hindered the efforts of a retrieval. However, Closest associates are convinced that no evil presence, no matter how powerful, is a match for Mrs. Legon's survival skills and persistence, as she might as she might at this very moment be engaged in an unseen battle with supernatural entities that, that according to said associates, ain't got no chance against Vicky, you'll see. Current status, rumored to be fighting supernatural beings for survival deep in the Transylvanian. Okay, interesting. What a lady. Now, was there anything about Barnabas? Oh, there's Barnabas. That's a bit unspectacular to be honest. <laughs> okay. Uh, age unknown. Occupation unclear. Once overheard calling himself a hunter of evils. On crimes unclear. Suspicion of vigilantism. Vigilantism? Non affiliates. Hostess Tenebri. Whoever that is. And he's got one daughter. Peace. Little is known about the hostess neighbors and its supposed leader. Barnabas Basura, with very few suspected members and none but two semi-official confirmed. Basura himself and his daughter, Peace. It is widely suspected that they are permanent conflict with several cults and have possibly sprung up as a response to said cult's activity. Basura, the supposed leader, has not been directly tied to any kind of criminal activities but somehow his name tends to be in some way or another linked to the most prominent occult-related events in the criminal underworld. If more in a hindering or surveilling than a, particip than a participatory fashion. Hostess Tenebris seems to take the secrets parts of the secret society very serious. 
So that, other than the supposed names of their two foreman members, nothing is really known about them. Current status unknown. Okay. Is there anybody else that's... who's Benny Cass? Ah, inventor and smuggler. Um, smuggling a supernatural artifacts, illegal sale of tools and weaponry. Possession of controlled supernatural materials, illegal use of manufactured uh, supernatural artifacts, absolutely horrible sense of fashion. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's a Rotom in chat. Hold on, I gotta catch that Rotom. Give me just a second. Uh, poker catch. Do I have a great ball? I do have great balls. Okay, guys, catch the Rotom. It's the it gives unlimited electricity that 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 it does. Think. Okay, known affiliates, freelance, known to show a pr uh, preference with working for the Etimus Alliance, whoever that might be. Known relatives, difficult to answer due to multiple incidents with parallel universes altering artifacts. Okay. Benny Ibrahim, or Cass, as he tended to be called, was a not-so-successful small-time inventor with a small-time inventor with the US, who used to operate somewhat lawfully over several years. At an unknown time during, during this, he started to acquire shipments of restricted supernatural artifacts which he began to use in his craft. Record indicates he most likely first started to acquire this artifact when the Atomus Alliance approached him with requests to experiment with their potential use for espionage, sabotage, cheating at the Oscars, or just plain making really, really fancy boomsticks. This even had likely awakened some sort of fascination with, within Cass, with misusing the occult in the creation of his invention. Several reports indicate that Cass' exper experimentation with incorporating these artifacts and rituals into his inventions bordered on obsession. Actually, scratch that, would be more accurate to say that he ran the border, that he ran the border over with a steamroller. Cass appeared to show very little concern for what manner of, of danger, both of the speakable and unspeakable kind. He may cause in this pursue of experimenting with his creations, showing reckless abandon for the safety of not only others, but also himself. There's a second page. Okay. Most worrying, not to mention terrifying, however, was that he had even less concern about who used his abominations with... who used his... abominations with an on switch and had made a business out of selling them to anyone brave and or stupid enough to be willing to use them. This list of organizations and individuals who acquire these tools would be far too long to list here, and the resulting havoc must, the resulting havoc must of them caused an even longer list. But he appeared to have kept close ties with doing business with the Atomus Alliance in particular. Current status, whereabouts are currently unknown, only due to the fact that the entire area in a one mile radius from where he was last sighted appears to have vanished. In a, an <laughs> appears to have vanished. It is speculated that years of poking at a unmentionable phantasmal horrors with a screwdriver, a nine volt battery, a screwdriver and a nine volt battery have finally caught up with him. Current assumptions are. Current assumptions are that he is trapped somewhere in a dimension whose name is un his name is likely composed of several dozen syllables that cannot be pronounced by any human tongue. Interesting. What a guy. Okay. I think I got it. Hey, Bozinski. I think I got something on that fine piece thing. I don't believe Barnabas was trying to guide you to a life of mindfulness and meditation. He's got a daughter called Peace. Peace Pusara. Oh, of course, that makes sense. Hmm. 
Got any ideas? Got any ideas? On it. <laughs> I think I got it. I found Peace Busara's blog. <laughs> What's a blog? What's a... Nah, never mind. What does it say? Mm. Oh, well, the latest entry is pretty cryptic. It just says land beyond the forest and a bunch of numbers. Okay, these must be spatial coordinates. Tracking them down now. Man, this is just like in the movies. And I was right. <laughs> She's in... Yep. Formaris, Transylvania, Romania. Well, well. Hey, here's an idea. Feel like visiting your ancestral home, Kerwin? Are you kidding me more than anything? But I'm hopelessly broke and... Don't worry about it. Barnabas paid well and I want to see this thing through. Awesome. Okay. Um, did you find anything worth examining in Fishmouth? Found anything worth examining on your trip to Fishmouth? Actually, yes. Barnabas called it Olmstein's sign. He apparently left it on purpose so that I could find it. Here it is. No idea what it means. What is that sign? It's that mysterious sign Buzz found back in Fishmouth. Have I seen the symbol before? Somewhere. I should really use my newly acquired power on it. I don't need to pick it. Okay. Flamel's abode. <clears throat> Flamel's abode. Did I hear that right? Like Nicholas I Flamel? think so. Does it ring a bell? There is one famous Flamel I know of, and he's, well, was an alchemist. Looking it up. Pretty useful thingamabob, that laptop. 51 Rue de Montmorency, Paris, France. 14th century alchemist Nicolas Flamel's ancient home. Alchemist, huh? Could tie into the whole balancing chaos thing. Hmm. All right, looks like that's my destination. European road trip. So, when do we leave? Hmm, well, better now than never. No better time than now. Radical. Yeah. Radical? Radical. Plays air guitar. <laughs> We're going to Europe. Chapter Four Paris. A city of love. And this was it. Paris. I stepped out of the downpour into Flamel's hutch just in time. What followed was some kind of meteorological insanity. Hurricane Herbert baffled weathermen and struck anywhere in the world without warning. That was far from my biggest concern, though. You see, during the long cab ride from the airport, I'd taken some liberties with my walk dogs, what with the uh, kind of march a gumshoe puts them through. Bumbled up and explaining to the obnoxious cabby in my very approximate French that no, I didn't want a detour to gawk the big old oil rig they planted downtown. Fate sucker punched me right in the gut. I, uh, oh. left my shoes in the cab. Oh no. He's shoeless again. That's gotta be my destination, but I don't exactly know where I'm going. It's gotta be very, very sad detective noises. Guys, press F for the guy with no shoes. It's an old, old portrait of, I guess, that uh, Flamel fella. F for the shoes. He's looking kind of surprised for some reason. I guess people were all scraggly back then. I'm Can not holding it? that around. Okay, disappointing. A beautiful depiction of Flamel indeed, Mr. Olmstead. Your penthouse quarters are ready, right this way. Ah. Olmstead, huh? Nice, familiar ring to it. Yeah, I feel like I've heard that name before. 
Looks like a flyer about Nicholas Flamel. Okay. Nicholas Flamel, 1330 to 1418, was a French scrivener and a manuscript seller. He's supposed to have learned important alchemical secrets at some point during his life, feverishly pursuing esotericism from then on. Flamel is recorded as having resided in this building in what was then an attic. That's it. It bored me to tears. Can't even see letters anymore. <laughs> God damn it. That was pretty interesting. I'm not getting anything. Nothing on the flyer. Okay. This might prove useful at some point. Yeah, if I ever need to read up on Nicolas Flamel. Who knows? Nobody knows. Been a while since I've seen one of these. Yeah, that's true. Nobody got the landline anymore. Ancient communication device. Okay. The world has changed indeed. I don't think I'm getting any calls here. Hmm. The world has changed indeed. Mr. Watson, come in. I want to see you. Uh. It's very retro. That's a lot of book right there. Not everything's gone digital, I guess. I find that strangely comforting. Mm. That's the concierge's prerogative. Okay. Oh, wow. Getting such a garbled mess, it's, it's indecipherable. Okay, I see. Yeah, well, I guess there's a lot of memories in this book. That's what they're here for, making memories. Is anything in here? Oh, there's a fish hook. There's a fishing hook just lying on the floor. I wonder how it got here. Well, better pick it up before somebody Do steps on it. Do people fish in Paris? I guess I'm an uncultured oaf. Is there memories on this hook? I'm not nope. getting anything. Not missed by anybody. Got him. Okay, guess I ring the bell. Shiny summoning thingy. Shiny summoning thingy. And I mean shiny. Look at that thing. It's a shiny. I found a shiny. I could ring this all day long. Hmm. I gotta get me one of these. For no good reason whatsoever. Yeah, I mean, ringing it is a good reason. To be fair, that's what, they, that's what they're made for. No resonance. Nothing here. Okay. Good evening. Good evening, monsieur. My name is Serge, and I'm the concierge here. How may I help you? Serge, the concierge? Okay. Well, I think I can, can remember that. Uh, quite the weather we're having. It's uh, quite the weather we're having out there. Oh, yes. A freakster. The creature. The Herbert. Taking the entire world by, well, by storm. <laughs> huh. Yeah. <laughs> He's a funny old man. I like him. Hmm. Paris is still beautiful in the storm, though. I all heartedly agree, monsieur. She's the prettiest no matter the weather. I believe you have the right address. I believe I have the right address. Rue de Montmorency, 51. I'm interested in an apartment. Um, everything is rented out, monsieur. I'm sorry. Everything? Well, yes, yes, everything. Everything. You seem to hesitate. You seem to hesitate there. Is there maybe one you're holding on to for somebody? Monsieur is very inquisitive. Well, that's my job. Very sorry, I'm a detective. Uh, I'm a flooring inspector? I'm a flooring inspector. Came here to look into a certain apartment. Floor issues, you understand. Structural integrity. Monsieur, permit or a license? Oh, those are obsolete. Everything's digital nowadays. A flimsy excuse if I've ever heard one. Okay. Am I here to check the plumbing? I'm here to check the plumbing for any leaks. Sure, you just. They have been checkless months. They remain just as horrible, leaky, and unfixable as ever. Oh, <laughs> uh, right. Oh boy. 
Yeah, that sounds like an old building. My interests are scientific in nature. I understand there's some uh, historical significance to this building. You are correct. Sir Nicolas Flamel, the famed alchemist, lived here for a while. On the top floor. May I see that apartment? I'm afraid not, sir. As you well guessed, it is being held on to. Held on to, huh? Any chance it's a mysterious person interested in stabilizing volatile elements and such? Monsieur is very inquisitive. Very inquisitive, the, the sir. Also, there's a there's an Onich in chat. I gotta gotta catch that Onich real quick. It's one of my favorite Pokemon. Just give me a second. Poke catch, Ultra Ball. I don't have Ultra Balls. God damn it. Poke catch, Great Ball. Okay, that works. Well, let's hope for the best. Okay, Olmstev. Does the name Olmstev ring a bell, Mr. Serge? I do not know who you are or what are you seeking, but this conversation ends now. May I have some soup on the stove and I must turn to it. Au revoir. Au revoir, monsieur. Bonjour. I think we got off on the wrong foot, Montois Serge. Makes no difference. I cannot show you the apartment, and that is final. But it's for science. But it's for science. Science means nothing when compared to loyalty and respect. Hmm. Loyalty to whom? Loyalty to whom, Mr. Olmstev? Oh, your inquisitiveness grows tiresome. I have things to do. Now, if you'll excuse me, please let yourself out. Yeah, sure, I'll. I will find a way out, monsieur. Bonjour. <laughs> ah, it's you again. Look, monsieur, I have a wife on the stove and a soup in the... the other way around. <laughs> My point is, I'm a busy man. What is more important than soup? Soup? There are more important things than soup. You are technically correct, but it is too late in the evening for us to even in Paris. Hmm. Fair. I just wanted to come clean. It's, it's Olmstead who sent me. I was just testing you before. Oh, really? I never saw him with anyone else before, let alone sending someone. Allow me to remain suspicious as to your truthfulness. The fact that you know his name does not mean you represent him or are even his friend. Hmm. Um... You're unsuccess unnecessarily pedantic. You're being unnecessarily pedantic. No, I am merely being cautious. Big difference. Okay. Let's let's try the. I'm here for step. the uh, the thing Mr. Olmstead left behind. I'm sure I can find a way to convince you that I'm his representative. Fine, I'll play along. Hm. Let me think. Um... Something that only he and I would know. Um, Aha! Uh -huh. Alright. Could you perhaps uh, tell me, Mr. Um, uh, Ketype? Mr. Ketype, do you know what his nickname for me was? That only he and I knew? And if you tell me that, I'm fully convinced he really did send you and hand you the key to Flamel's room. Hmm. Flamel's what? Flamel's what? Room. R Rome. Room. Room. Oh, you are insufferable. <laughs> I know Sergio Leone. Sergio Leone. Not even closer. Gramps. Gramps. Not by a long shot. Stretch. 
Uh, stretch? <laughs> no. Uh, I don't really recall. I, uh, I don't recall right now. I'm sure it'll come to me. Why am I not surprised? Anything else, monsieur? Uh, not for now, I guess. Are you? Okay then. Maybe now? I'm not sure what it is that I need to do here. Oh no! Do you not have uh, anything better to do with your time than torture me, Mr. K-Type? I'm just alone here in Paris. I'm just alone here in Paris and I feel like chatting. Can't visit anything because of the storm. I am sorry, but I am very busy. I cannot stay on the chit chat. The may book? I inquire about a book you have here? <sighs> you may. It is our Flamel Memorial Guest Book. I have been keeping it for more than 30 years now. So it's uh, one of those things you write your impressions in after visiting? You should be a detective. How can I give my impression hmm. on Flamel if you won't let me visit his rooms? I don't know. Doesn't this lobby elicit any historical enthusiasm in you? Alright, I'd like to jot down my impressions of the place. I'm afraid I can't let you personally do that, but I will be happy to write on whatever it is you wish. Hmm, okay. alright. By the way, what a beautiful quill you've got there. Actually, it's a fountain pen, made to look like a quill. Is the feather real? A quite real Corvius Corax feather, yes. Mm. A fine present from someone very close to my heart. What shall I write? Uh, okay. <clears throat> I, Donald R. Katype. Yes? Archetype. Huh. Through the grace of God. Through the grace of God. Yes. Hereby declares fine evening, cannot help but affirm. I am compelled to record into written history. I'm compelled to record into written history. Yes. Through circumstances that were hard to predict, that in a state of solemn fascination, that through no agency of mine, through a state of solemn fascination, that in a state of solemn fascination. Bon Dieu, is there more? I've only just begun. Oh, I've only just begun. I am a visitor to these strange francophone lands. Yes. And as it shall be known, fought with, but alas, with my predictions were a different nature. So I staggered through the rain, silk streets of the metropolis. Yes. So I staggered through the rain slick streets of the metropolis. In the name of all that is sacred, is there more? Thanks. For in these precipitous times, my efforts to abscond the true nature of my incursions into the obscure and <laughs> forbidden. Monsieur, you'll have to excuse me. I will be right back. Je viens, je viens. Je viens. I don't know what that means. But he left his pen. Monsieur Serge seems to have forgotten his beloved pen there. Oh no. Pretty thing, I must admit. Somebody tell him. As Mac Viper says, never touch another man's pen. Hmm. Yeah, I, I can see it. This is for you, you pa Papillon. Oh, Monsieur Homestead, it's it's beautiful. You are you are too kind. Pa Papillon. This is for you, you pa Papillon. Oh, Monsieur Homestead, it's it's beautiful. You are you are too kind. This might be the only time that we can hear it. Maybe. Does that say anything new? That's the concierge's prerogative. Nope, nothing new here. Okay. Sir, I'd like to finish my statement. Bonjour, monsieur. Ah, 
might have known it was you. What is it now? Just wondering how the soup's coming along. It was fine until you arrived. Is that it? I remembered what Olmstead used to call you. It was Papapion. A con but boy in the face of evidence. You truly must be an envoy of my dear friend. I will give you the key to the apartment. Please reassure Monsieur Olmstead of my everlasting devotion and friendship. I'll be sure to do that. Sure. Thanks. No worries. Um. Huh. Okay, what is it that you endeared so much? What is it that endeared you so to Olmstead, Mr. Serge? He's, um, well, uh, huh, strange. I find it hard to put my finger on it. I just feel so loyal to him. Strange. I suppose it is a bit strange, but I'm, I'm, I'm an old man. Hmm. Yeah, okay. How do you remember him? How do you remember Olmstead? Oh, a very, very warm and uh, likable gentleman. Yeah, but what of his appearance? Appearance? Uh, I, um, well, huh, funny. Know that you mention it. I'm having a hard time recollecting his visage. Strange. Yes, maybe. But, but I'm an old man, and my memory is foggy about a lot of things. Yeah, that would explain it. Hmm. Hmm. Is Flamel's, uh, thing still up there? Is sing? Monsieur K-Type? Oh, come on, Serge. I work for the man. You know, the stabilizing element he was after. I truly know nothing of what Monsieur Olmstead was researching up there. I figured he would keep you in the loop, no? It's complicated. It is complicated. Okay. Olmstein sends his regards. Olmstein? Huh. I mean Olmstead. Silly me. Thank you for delivering his message. Okay. Thanks, Serge. Well, I'll come to bother you if there's anything else. No bother at all. Anything for Monsieur Olmstead. <clears throat> okay, guess we're done here. Oh boy. Okay. Why is it broken? Ah, Paris. The city of lights. More like lightning now. Looks just as dreary as any other town in a thunderstorm. Well, probably because it's just a town in a thunderstorm. Wish I could have visited under different circumstances. And weather. We'll always have Paris. Rainy, somber, Paris. Hmm. Bonsoir, Paris. Bonsoir, Paris. Bonsoir. Too much what going a on. What too many damned people. Yeah, that pretty much sounds like any big city. Okay, what do we have here? Some strange dust. Strange little pyramids of grayish blue dust. Probably okay. alchemical in nature. No time to look into it. You sure? Yeah, at Zothtu. Yeah, Angaku. Yeah, the Nibo. Okay, that doesn't sound okay. too great. Okay. Not gonna pick any of this stuff up. Who knows what it is? And does. Yeah, well, fair point, actually. What else is here? Rotting books? Surviving books? These particular books had somehow survived. They seem to be in alphabetical order. I was gonna have to make some kind of informed choice here. Choices, actually. Okay then. Um, how would this work? It's pretty much Latin. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. So, um... Pentagram? Of course there had to be a pentagram. Of course. I guess Olmstev tried to follow in Flamel's footsteps. Maybe. Know this seeker. Books hold untold meaning. Order is capital. Huh. Okay. So I can't use the the hunter's mark on it. Okay, hold on. Can I where's number one? You're number one. I, or the Roman numeral for one. I don't know what to say. Okay. Know this seeker. Books hold untold meaning. Order is capital. <clears throat> Order is capital. Okay. So, um... What? Okay. Um... Hmm. How did this work again? Wait. Wait, I think it's, um... The capital letters, probably. So that's the first one. Uh, Identificatio Idolatres should be the second one. Probably. So this should be the third. Idolium in Ignis, probably. Wait, is it the first letter? First letter for every book, hopefully. Impendio Vaquerosus, okay. And, um,. Just, just B. It should be five. Is that it? Katos. I had chosen the book starting with an I and the first word in the sentence. I was onto something. Ah, okay. Magnum. Nothing. Okay. So that doesn't work. Is it like... Hold on. This was the first, this was right. This was the second one. Do we need to take the second letter? Just in case, let's go with... Uh... Third letter from the third. Fourth word. Fourth word from the fourth. And the fifth word from the fifth. I think. I think this is right. Catus est draconi in finem. That's a spoiler, by the way. Don't Google it. <laughs> I had chosen the book starting with Okay. I I or the Roman numeral for two. I I Est. Est. Okay, cool. Draconi. Draconi. In. In. 
Venom. Dum dum dum. Okay, let's see what's up there. Ooh, a bell. Cool. There's a skull. Okay, container. What secret? I'll be damned. Hold? That's gotta be what I'm looking for. The container of Constance, as it were. Huh. Sure put up a fight, didn't you, Olmstef? Or Dolmstein, or whatever. The old, old man. Come to daddy. There's no apparent latch or handle, and it looks firmly locked. God damn it. Flormilus necessarium est. Okay. Does that help me in any way? I'm willing to bet it means I need Flamel to open the container. Hmm. Well, does it? Just apply Flamel. Huh. Hey, it, it worked. Okay, interesting. Huh, a solitary page. Looks like it was torn out of a book. Is this it? Really? Is that the formula for the Sorcerer's Stone? All right, let's uh, see what this says. Huh, interesting. I should tell Buzz about this right away. He'd better have a cell phone signal. Yeah, he better have. <laughs> oh boy, good old Romania. Ugh, oh, not having phone signal or internet sucks so bad. Rare occurrence like that helps us any. Sure, it took a lot to get from Bucharest to this Forum Maris place. More than crossing the ocean, I might add. It's this blasted storm that defies the laws of physics popping in and out of nowhere all over the world. Did you hear the driver saying it was messing with the GPS? Wait, where'd that accent come from? This? Well, what are my ancient stomping grounds doing to me? Kite! I think this is the real me. <sighs> it never ends. Well, we're here. Charming town, your ancestral home. You will, of course, understand my apprehension and distrust of this place. Me being a black cat and everything. It isn't still the Middle Ages here, dummy. And as long as you're not excessively loud, people tend to not notice you can speak. Let's find peace. Right behind you. Let's find peace. What are you? A bus ticket? It's the ticket for the trip from Bucharest to here. Neat little souvenir. Well, good thing I kept it. What are you, said mask guy? A man in what I think is a traditional mask. He looks really distressed as far as I can tell. Hmm. Man, that's one cool looking mask. I'd wear that mask everywhere if it was socially acceptable. Little did he know. Masks absolutely own. Best not involve her unless absolutely necessary. Okay. Uh, good evening. The castle must make it to the castle. Castle? Must reach castle, must defend castle. I'm afraid I can't help you with that, sir. Interesting. Interesting fellow. Hi again. I must reach the castle. I must defend the castle. Okay, see you later. Okay. Don't think you will get anything more out of him. Who are you, local man? You look interesting. A fine example of the local populace. He looks very, um, very... Well, um, uh, determined? Okay. Okay, I've made up my mind. I like this dude. Uh, yep, he's a cool dude. She doesn't speak the language either. Okay. Hi. No, sir, who's 
Da, bă, nimă la el ce palid îi, mă, mă, ești bine, mă, frățioare, nimă la el ce tras la față e mă, săracu, că zici că nu am mâncat nimic de tri zile. Tu l-ai, Sâlvie, dar cum ai ajuns aici, mă? Da, da, de unde e? De unde e fi, mă? De-a, de-a cu ești? Cu curat ai venit? Nimă și umblă cu mâța aia după el, pai, de la el, mă, zici că de la țârcuș, mâță neagră, mă, umblă după el, gândești că-i câne. Bată-te, norocul să te bat Have you seen a foreign girl around here lately? Ce, mă, fete străine aici? Du-te, mă, de aici, mă Auzi la el, fete-i trăbă Tu la ai, doamne, dar păi tu vii aici de unde o încercat dracu copchii să cați fete Dar păi, voi n-aveți femeie acolo, mă, doamne, iartă-mă și nu mă bate Mă, n-am mai văzut eu nicio muiere, mă Numai de ale noastre, de aici, de ale locului Ok, any idea where I could look for her? Da, păi numai Dumnezeu bunuțul știe, dar păi eu de să știu, mă, copile? Da, păi, vezi tu, este un han acolo așa, mi, îi zice hanul vieță, așa îi zice, și apoi mergi tu frumos acolo pe chișoarele tale, în adida și tăi frumos, și apoi întreb tu acolo, no, că poate știu oamenii, poate nu știu, îi vede tu când ajungi acolo, no, bine, mergi frumos cu mâța după tine, tu mai mâni la ei, mă, bă, bă, fainiz, mă, neam de neamul meu nu văzut așa ceva. Thanks. Are you from around here? Oh cum, my god. Mă? Dar de din tată în fiu suntem aici, mă, cu cu oile, dar cum, mă? Dar apoi de când mă știu eu, mă? Și apoi de când erau moșii mei, mă, tată mi o vasă de moșii, buna Varvara, tata lui moșul Solomon zice, și Ghibolu, și apoi moșilor tăț 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 de viacuri, tot pe aici, no, păi cum? I see. Weird weather we're having, huh? E, yeah, mă, zici tu bine ce zici, mă, tare după așa vreme, mă, mă, eu de când mă știu așa ceva n-am văzut. Apoi când plouă, când e soare, deci vine țarușcă mea așa jos. Când se supără sunt Ilie și apoi trânteaște o furtune de, de să cacă ciorile pe ele, mă, de frică, nu mai știi cum să te îmbrești. Doamne feri, ca, ca așa ceva de când mă muca m-o făcut, eu n-am mai văzut. Ascultă tu la mine! All right, bye! No, bine, de la gutati, te-am țucat, mă, du-te, du-te că te-or aștepta și apoi dacă nu te așteaptă, no, las că văd că vii. Du-te, că mi-ești drag, mă, cu mâța aia după tine, nimă la ei, mă, mă, bă, fainis, tu să nu-i de ochi. Du-te, dragă, merg cu Dumnezeu, te-am țucat, serus, serus. Uh, uh, siavus, siavus. Can I talk to you again? He seems like a nice guy. Hey, it's me again. Nimă, că sunt întors, mă, no. Care-i baiu? N-ai găs Hanu? Nu-l vezi de ochi, mă? Că nii, acolo nii ai, mă. Pași doi pași și ai ajuns. Doamne, iartă-mă, dar păi cum, mă? Ai orbu găinilor sau ce Dumnezeu? All right, take care now. N-ai tu grijă, mă, de mine. Tu vezi tu acolo frumos de treaba ta, găsește sfătuca, că ți-o trebui să vii până aici să-ți cauți mândră. Bată-te, soale, să te bată. Du-te cu Dumnezeu. Can I... No, I can't talk to him anymore. Disappointing! It's literal trash. You'll probably pick it up. Maybe I will. Oh, I'm convinced you will. Okay, I'm picking it up. Good. Great. My trash. Look, I am picking it up. That's just swell, buddy. You better believe it. I do. Fine. Good. Give me the trash. That's some nice trash. What do you say now, kitty? How you like in Transylvania? It's a good question. So, how you like in Transylvania so far, kitty? It's the greatest! Really? Okay. Well, at least the people are nice. Still mad about being humanized? Very much so. Okay, just checking. Okay. Who are you? That inscription is nigh unreadable, but I'd bet my bottom dollar that's a Vlad. Vlad the Impaler? Very popular voivod name. Eh, trans. Hmm. Must have been a mean mother. Shut your mouth. Got a stake in everything. Cool. Oh boy, I would like to have a stake right now. It's just for watching and being in awe of. Kitty, what do you Apparently, say? she's into art that's way more modern than this. Yo, Vlad the Impaler is never out of style. A okay. pretty powerful light bulb illuminating that info thingy. It's a Let's tourist info here. thing about the statue and town in general. Yep, just as I suspected. It's a Vlad. 
It's a blood! The whole numbering thing with lords and rulers speaks volumes of their imagination when it comes to names. What was he, floods the 13th? It's a tourist info thing about the statue and town in general. Yep, just as I said. It's a blood. I Did dare he? not even suggest touristy things to her. God damn it. Cat no like tourists. Can I... Ooh, city hall. It's where the mayor of Fotomari toils away, serving the citizens. Hmm. Lights on. Must be a lot of work managing this quaint little town. Uh, managing a town is a lot I'll of just work. leave them to it. It's better like that, believe me. Okay, who are you? Don Imogos, artist, creator, director, actor, visionary, modern-day Viking. Brought important contributions okay. to the art of indie game making to Transylvania from the distant lands of the New World. Uh-huh. Looks like a motivated dude. Also, he's holding a controller. That's pretty cool in my book. <laughs> oh, yeah, he is. Cool. Good to have you aboard, Don. Huh, says here in tiny script that if you listen closely, you will hear Don... A lot. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. Star Mazer for the win. Thank you for your contributions in the field of indie game making, Don Imagos. We salute you. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Does anybody know what Stargazer is? I don't think I ever heard of it. Okay, what do we have here? Lit window. That's lit, man. A single solitary lit window. Who's in there and why? Why am I even asking these questions? Well, someone's in there. Doesn't make any kind Probably. of difference to us or our quest, but there it is. Nah, let's just leave whoever that is alone. God damn it, could be something important. No reason to have her climb up there, really. Doesn't matter if there's a reason. Climb up, kitty! Ooh, a tourist info point. Oh no, not another this. tourist info point. Thankfully this one seems to be abandoned. Ah, oh, goddammit. Apparently they were pragmatic and just gave up. Where the friendly fish people have had enough tourist information stuff for a while. Okay. Little boy. It's a local kid playing on his phone. Or oh, girl, I don't... Man, he is really into it. Okay, little boy. Scratch him! I think I'll do the talking. No talking, only scratching. Okay. Hello, young man. What's up? Playing on my phone. Do I know you? Just being friendly, that's all. Uh-huh. What a guy. So, what are you playing? Call of Beauty 6. I thought shooters sucked on mobile. <sighs> Call of Beauty is not a first-person shooter. It's a survival game. Survival game? Really? Yeah, really. You roleplay this supermodel, and every once in a while, you have to survive on no food before a show for like three <laughs> or four days. That's terrible. Games have changed since your days, old man. Fuck Everything you, is kid. realistic now. Disturbingly so. Nice place, this town. Nothing ever happens here, and I can't even get data on my phone anymore. But yeah, great place. Well, if you looked up from that screen every once in a while, you'd see that it is. Oh, jeez, you're one of those, aren't you? We get it. You grew up hitting a ball against the wall, not glued to the screen. You were so much better off. Thanks for the insight. Bye. Well, uh, no, that's not really what I meant. I was a nerd just like you. Oh yeah, you're totally hip to geekdom and down with the youth, pups. Mm. Oh boy, kids these days. <coughs> Hold on. But yeah, what's up with games being more realistic? It sucks. I want unrealistic games back. Anyway, 
Um, is there a girl called Peace around? Have you seen a girl called Peace around? No, I haven't. Because I'm one of those losers who won't look up from their screens at the real world. Right? <sighs> oh boy. Later. Uh huh. What a guy. Can I steal his slingshot? I think it's this kid's slingshot just lying in the grass. Huh, could I use this? Well, it's a slingshot. That's a cool slingshot you got there, kid. Yes, isn't it crazy that I know about more than just computer screens and video games? Mind blowing, I know. Oh, come on, mm. mind if I take a look at it? Yeah, cause I'm just giving my deadly slingshot away to a stranger, sure. Hmm. It doesn't look deadly. That thing does not look deadly. It's only made from the toughest wood you'll find around these parts, and a virtually unbreakable rubber band. And I've used industrial grade glue to put the thing together. Not only is it deadly, it's indestructible. Indestructible! Hmm. I guess I can take it apart. <laughs> I'll bet I can take it apart. Easy. <laughs> really, dude? You're on. What are we wagering? Just the satisfaction of being right and in the other guy's face, kid. <laughs> okay, then. It's on. Well, okay. Guess I got a slingshot now. Later. Uh-huh. That was surprisingly easy. An art critic? Oh boy. This lady's really interested in that mural up there. How do these people get into these towns? She has this air about her. The air of someone who knows stuff. Hmm. I think I'll do the talking. Does she know stuff? What does she know? Let's find out. Hi there. I couldn't help but notice you're examining that mural up there. Pardon me? Oh, yes, indeed I am, yes. Can you tell me anything about it? Why, of course. You see, there is a certain ambiguity in regard to the vivacious and decidedly histrionic undertones of the disjunctive perturbation present within the artist's essentially transitional brushwork. Wouldn't you say? Uh... Mm -hmm. Of course, you must not let this hint of overspecificity on my part overshadow the obviously resonant spatial relationships between the reductive quality of the lines and the commitment to a rigorously formal approach on the artist's behalf. Actually... What you must understand is that the work echoes its own edges with its obsequious interior dialogue, and even replicates itself, paradoxically denying any allusion to a juxtaposed mythopoetical reality. I don't even know what I'm gonna add to that. Probably just... Uh... That the artist tried to uh, express his thirst for knowledge, maybe. His love for knowledge. Probably. What can you tell me about this bus what ticket? What can you tell me about this bus ticket? An incisive voyagerial metaphor, rectangularly encased in an obviously sarcastic homage to utter futility and cavalcading materialism. Okay. What do you think of this slingshot? What do you think of this slingshot? Kind of shot, if you ask me. What? Inextricably inferior. <laughs> what does it all mean? Yeah, but what does it all mean? Aren't you paying attention, young man? It signifies that the structuralist paradigm under which the creator diligently operated is flush with interpolated post-dialectic musings that cannot be rightfully ignored. That's oversimplifying it a bit, but yeah, okay. Yes, yeah, way too easy. Where did you study art for? You trash? I have this pocket full of trash. Ah, ah, such a Buckish postmodernist cliche turned anti cliche, or as some would put it, mudful reversed boilerplate. 
Not an entirely what? surprising denouement coming from a distinguishably inexperienced dabbler in the arts, but one I uncontemptuously applaud nonetheless. Yeah, it's, uh... It's just trash, really. Precisely. Wink wink, as they say. Oh, these art critics. I'll leave it to your critique. I'll leave you to your critique. Indeed, indeed. Indeedy. Indeedy. Ooh, a mural. An intricate monochrome mural in stark contrast with the intense colors all around it. It seems to tell a pretty convoluted story. Is there a monkey soldier? Right here? Are these monkey soldiers? An intricate monochrome mural in stark contrast with the intense colors all around it. It seems to tell a pretty convoluted story. Okay. Girl runs after two cats. While well, a dragon burns the city. What do you say, kitty? Just peep it yourself, Mr. Art Critic. God damn you. Okay. G'day, old man. A senior citizen enjoying his time on that bench. He seems really peaceful. Hmm. I'd Kill rather him. do the talking. Ah, uh, goddammit. Uh, good evening. A good evening to you, young man. Hmm. Boy, what a sight, huh? Boy, what a sight, huh? Yes, yes, it is superb. The rolling hills with their scents of hay and white flowers. The gently grazing herds. Sometimes I wish they placed this bench the other way around, but um, I guess this way you can admire the mural. Hmm. Indeedy. Is the painting old? Is the painting old? <laughs> old, yes. Older than most things in this town. How old exactly, though, I cannot tell you. Hmm. Let's, uh, let's find out if there's a story. Is there a story it. behind it? Yes, there is. But do you have the time to listen to it? Do I have the time? Hmm. Well, guys, you know what? I want to... I am gonna take a short break here. Put you on the BRB screen, and when I'm back in like five minutes, maybe, we're gonna listen to that story, whether you like it or not. Let me just put on some music while I'm gone. Don't you guys go anywhere. I dare you. See you soon.
I have returned. It's good to be back. Okay. Let's uh, let's go here, and then we go here, and uh, okay. Let's listen to his story for a change. Yes, I do. Now, legend has it that a long, long time ago, on top of a mountain overlooking Forumaris, a Solomonar, that's an ancient wizard, was conjuring thunder and rain when, below, a terrifying Balaur, that's a dragon, attacked the town. The masks, sworn defenders of the town, could not defeat the dragon, but could not live either, so they sent an innocent young shepherd girl by the name of Miwara and her dog Azor to beg for the Solomonar's assistance. Miwara and Azor's journey up the mountain was not without peril. See, the Solomonar had laid many traps and cunning magical obstacles to stop anyone from disturbing his ritual. But Miwara and Azor were smart and agile and resilient, so they made it to the mountain top and told of the dragon's attack. But the Solomonar was red with anger and could not see beyond the fact that a girl and her dog had conquered his defenses. And since they had proven to be smart and agile and resilient, he transformed Miwara and Azor into a black and a white cat, forever cursed to roam the hills and mountains without ever resting again. Then he did make his way down to Forum Maris and found it in smoldering ruins, and the masks all but defeated, making their last stand against the beast. He fought the dragon for three days and three nights, and finally crushed it down into the mountain, burying it in the bowels of the earth. Afterwards, he cried tears of remorse for foolishly cursing the shepherd girl and her dog, and erected a monastery in their remembrance. That castle above the town that everyone fears, its steeple is all that remains of the monastery the Solomonar built ages and ages ago. It became corrupted, and some folks say that it's from the evil that the remains of the dragon still hold. I hear the masks are once again guarding the castle now that its rightful heir has returned. But who would risk going all the way there to see if it's true? Not many, dear. Not many. I think I know just the guy. Wow, that was fascinating. I'm glad to hear you say that, young man. I'm still here to tell the story, but for how long? No one really knows or cares about it other than me and the masks themselves. Maybe once I'm gone, so it shall disappear into oblivion. Let's hope not. Did nobody write that story down? What would disappear? That's a great story. I'll be off now. Have a nice evening. You too, young man. Goodbye. Goodbye, old man. It was my pleasure. Ah, city walls. Okay. It's the city's ancient walls. You can almost feel hundreds of years of history, um, leaking from them. I'm not good at this. Oh well. Pretty damn impressive, if you ask me. Yeah, that sounds about right. Nice walls. Hmm. Cool walls. Right now, they're just for admiring. Okay, Kitty, if you like the walls. I'm not having her scale those intimidating walls for no good reason. Okay then, I think we're done here. So the inn was the place, I think. We want to go to continue this. Oh hey, who are you little girl? 
It's a girl with a cat on a leash. Okay. That's an interesting cat there. Hmm. Hello, little girl. Hi. My name's Buzz, and this is my cat, Kid A. Nice to meet you. I'm Maria, and this is Xx. <laughs> What in the name of all that is sacred and holy? <laughs> <gasps> Your kitty can't talk! Yes, she can. For some reason, people don't usually notice. Oh. My. God. Is she magical? As magical as they come. Cool! Uh, well, fair. She's pretty magical, though, right? Not on purpose, but she's magical. Um... Did you happen to see a black girl around? No, I would have remembered that. Almost everyone around here is basically white. It's so boring. Well, it hasn't been sunny in a while either, has it? Uh, no, and the weather's been crazy lately. Thunderstorms out of the blue. That's why I can't walk in the hills anymore. Uh huh. Okay, yeah, what's what's with that? What's with that cat That's dog? a unique looking doggy. He's not a doggy, silly. Can't you see he's a kitty cat? We're really stretching the definition here. But how come he barks? Well, he was raised by a doggy, duh. His adoptive mommy was a Carpathian sheepdog. Oh, nice. An actual son of a... Well, that's a very cool and unique <laughs> story. So his name is uh, Kiskis. Uh-huh. That's how you get his attention. I want to name him something else, but I haven't come up with anything better yet. I understand. I am now the mm. second most embarrassed cat around. Okay. What are you up to, Maria? What are you up to, Maria? Oh, just walking. He gets real antsy if I don't walk him at least twice a day. He likes that, huh? <laughs> Yeah, he's the happiest kitty when he's in nature. I'd love to take him on a walk in the hills or in the mountains, but mom and dad won't let me. It's too far away. I see. Okay, uh, guess I'm a tourist. I'm a tourist. What can you tell me about Forumaris? Well, everyone says nothing ever happens here, so... God, I hope that's true. Hmm. Okay. Catch you later, Maria. See you! Bye, Kiss Kiss. Kiss Kiss. Yeah, he heard me. Cool. What a quaint little horse-drawn carriage. Yeah, it looks neat. Good to know there's a functioning vehicle around here. That's a good horsey. Kinda looks like a Pokemon. Can I catch you? I can't drive this. Coachman has to be around though. Yeah, just catch Kid A be nice to the horsey. What? Did I say or do anything? Just being preemptive, that's all. Jeez. Chase Louise. Can I go back there? Badly lit street. What's it's a here? particularly badly lit street. Probably leading outside of town. Okay. Intriguing, yes, but it's sure not inviting. Okay. Not Go without there. the protection of some kind of vehicle. God damn you, Kervin. Okay, the in window. Man, that's a nice, warm, inviting window right there. Mm, nice and warm. Go through the window. It's like something out of a fairy tale. All that's missing is heavy snow outside. I'm grateful there isn't any, though. Through the window. Or I could just, you know, walk in through the door. God damn it, Kervin. Why are you so boring? What a lovely place. Just stay alert. I can smell the tension in the air. That's probably just customers waiting for their meals to arrive. It takes time to dice up the meat enough to hide the stab wounds. <sighs> well, fair. Very fair. Okay, gentlemen. I'll bet that guy spends hours in the mirror daily. I mean, look at that beard. It's, it's perfect. 
the perfect beard. What more do you want on a man? <sighs> man, I'll never look that tight. True. Evening. Yeah, hello. Do I know you? Please go away. So, sup? So, what's up? Look, man. I'm kind of busy trying to get the waitress's attention. Would you mind bothering someone else? Sheesh, fine. Wait a minute. Maybe you could help. Really? How? Can I? Come stand next to me. That way, I'll shine even more by contrast, you know? Thanks. <laughs> I'll pass. What a guy. My name's Buzz, and uh, I'm a tourist. My name is Vasile, and I'm the alpha male. I'm not bragging. I don't want it to sound confrontational. Just putting it out there so it's crystal clear. Okay, Vasile. I can respect that, I think. Um, nice beard. Nice beard. Of course it's nice. It's only seen the inside of the best rated beard salons in the country. You have beard salons in Transylvania. Oh, cause we're Transylvanians and we should just let our facial hair grow out like animals, right? Bigot. Hey, I'm Romanian too. With that sad excuse of a five o'clock shadow? Please. Oh, brother. <laughs> what a guy. Have you seen a girl called okay. Peace around? Not since I've been sitting here. And you can trust me. If there's anything I would have noticed, it would be a girl. Is she pretty? Never mind. Well, we don't know that actually. We don't know what peace looks like. So this waitress... Anna. Anna. How do you plan on getting her attention? Other than my stunningly styled hair, Impeccably waxed beard and rock hard abs. Uh, I think that's as far as this plan goes. That's it. Mm. What if your interests are completely opposite or, or your characters don't match? Wait, what do you mean? We both look good. Are you interested in anything other than her looks? Uh, I, uh, I don't think I understand your question. Never mind, dude. Yeah, what a guy. <laughs> okay, see you around. See you buddy. around. Can I talk to you? Apparently not. Waitress is too busy to talk to customers. Okay. This guy's really enjoying his food. I like his mustache. Look at him go. That mustache, though. I think she'd better lay low in here. Okay. Hi there. <laughs> what? So, um... So... Yes, what? Hmm, where was I? How should I know, son? What? Uh, never mind. My name is Buzz. I'm happy for you, son. What? What? Okay. <laughs> what a weird man. How do you like this inn? How do you like this inn? It's pretty good, considering it's the only one. That makes sense. Yeah, fair. Uh, nothing? Uh, nothing? Alright then. What? Okay. Bye. What? Bye. <laughs> what a guy. Okay, what do we have here? Radio? Hey, it's an old-timey radio. Charming. I guess it comes in handy when all other communications are jammed. Hmm, fair. Listeners throughout Transylvania and indeed the whole of Romania. That was. Um, okay. Uh, let me see here. <laughs> oh, well, apparently I have no idea who was singing that, but uh, oh boy, what a stinker. Maybe we gotta... we're better off not ever knowing, right? Definitely right. sounds like a vampire. Well, never mind that. You know, that's the exception right here on Garlic Radio, because we only play that. Garlic Radio. I think they're the owners of this fine establishment. It's your boy! Okay. Nice couple. Seriously. Yanku, and we'll be spending the next what? hour or so together, so buckle up, boy, everybody! Uh, no, seriously. Okay. Whether you are in an autonomous or animal traction vehicle, wear the seatbelt. Hi. Hello, foreigner! Greetings, stranger! 
My name's Kerwin, Buzz Kerwin. Rodika. And this is my husband, Istvan. Wait, did you say Kerwin? Yes, I'm actually half Romanian myself. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes, dear, and I don't like it one bit. What? Nothing. Never mind. Oh, why does everything have to okay. be so mysterious and complicated? Pretty sure there's a lot of Romanians named Kervin. Probably. I don't know. I've never been. Um, yeah, I'm looking for a girl. I'm looking for a girl. This is not that kind of thing. No, no, a particular girl. Enjoy, Her for the name word. is Peace. I appreciate it. Is this some kind of uh, social commentary metaphor you're trying to pull? Pretty beautiful if it is. Uh, no, I mean it in the most literal way. Look, we have to be very skeptical to strangers around here. Especially foreigners. Don't ask, we just do. Really? Oh, whoa, oh, okay. Hmm. Um... Nobody seems to be welcoming Foreigner, anymore. Foreigner, stranger, no one ever seems to be welcoming anymore. I'm starting to think it's me. Oh, it's uh, not you. We have to... Istvan, you should stop talking now. Hmm, by all means, keep talking. No, no, by all means, keep talking. You have a what? A very wise wife, who reminds me when I'm talking out of school. Oh, Ishti, you smooth operator. Smooth operator. Okay. Um, what's about my name? What was that about my name? Oh, it's just... Uh, how do you spell that? K-E-R-W-A-N. See? That doesn't sound like a local name. Not at all. Has it been altered in the last few generations? You know, I really have no idea. Wait, altered from from what? Istvan, let it go. It's the gentleman's business. But Kor... Shush! Kor what? Enjoy your stay hmm. in scenic Transylvania, my friend. Scenic Transylvania. Okay. Well, I guess I'm still curious about the unwelcoming attitude. I'm still curious about your unwelcoming attitude. I mean, this is an inn, right? We are, um... We have to be skeptical toward foreigners. Have to? And I'm half Transylvanian. Half Transylvanian, huh? Okay, okay. Let's say you need to earn our trust. Hear that? Okay. Um... How... how would I? How would one go about earning your trust, then? Suika! Well, Gesundheit. Gesundheit. You said you're half Transylvanian. Zuika is our local drink. 60% alcohol. 60? And you expect me to ingest that? I can't trust a man unless he drinks with me. What century is this again? It's our Every tradition. Century. So, we drink? Hit him. Hit me. Norok! Norok! There you go! Now ask me anything! Okay, uh, I guess, uh. Look, look, look. I don't understand! Come back when you're sober, eh? <laughs> okay. Give me another Hit one. Hit me. Maybe I can build an immunity. No, no. That would be cool. Let's make this a drinking game. There you go! Okay, let's try this one. I don't understand! Come back when you're sober, eh? <laughs> okay. Well, give me one more. Hit me. Just one more. I think uh, I'm getting in the taste. No, no. Norok! There you go! Can I... Can I get into vomit? I don't understand! Come back when you're sober, eh? 
Give me another one. Hit me. Norok! Come on, Norok. You need to say the magic word, Kervin. There you go! God damn you. Bluff. I don't... Okay. Well, I guess it doesn't Talk to like you guys that. later. Servus. Huskies. 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 How can I look Huskies? in the eye anymore? <sighs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> what the hell is that radio? Anyway, gotta go. Apparently there's going to be this meeting and I have to be there. There's this new kid I'm supposed to show the ropes to. Well, this is okay. nice. Can you help me out, old man? Guess Bye. Not. What? Bye. Bye, sir. I'm out of here. Oh, hey. A voluminous gentleman. What an interesting A quite voluminous title. guy, unlit pipe in his mouth. I kind of like this guy. Oh, he looks cool. I like his beard. Nice hat. Cool beard. Hey, 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 hey. Greetings, my skinny friend. Oh, my. Hey there. Good to meet someone friendly. <laughs> Have you been talking to these grumps around here? These grumps. Uh, don't judge them too harshly. That's standard foreigner procedure. Standard procedure? This must be a cultural barrier thing. I'm baffled. I am Nobody afraid it's tourists. not for me to explain. So, let's just leave it at that. So, what is it you wanted to talk to me about, Sonny? Let's see, um, it's a nice pipe. Nice pipe. Thanks. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I haven't smoked in 24 years, but I feel it gives me some facial balance. F okay. Facial balance. Okay, sure. Have you seen a foreign girl around here? Have you here? seen a foreign girl around here? Goes by the name of Peace. I uh, don't have that kind of information, friend. That's something you should ask of Istvan and Rodika, the innkeepers. Why is everyone except for you so unfriendly? I uh, don't have that kind of information, friend. Nobody knows. Buzz Kerwin. My name is Buzz. Buzz Kerwin. Luca, the coachman, at your service. How's the coach business going, Luca? It really depends on where you want to go. It's been several days now that we have no GPS signal. Strange times indeed. You need GPS for your coach? Okay. Well, again, it depends on where you want to go. Some places hmm. are very difficult to access even to an experimented coachman like me. So, me and Rosie have to relay on technology. You know? But everything is so traditional around here. Ah, uh, don't let appearances fool you. We have some of the fastest internet in the world, friend. It just it sort of true. went away locally, along with the GPS signal. Currently, optic fiber is pretty well established in, uh, like, Romania, I think it is, Transylvania. Okay, uh, don't you have any kind of tech support? Don't you have any kind of tech support? Everyone who was good at computers moved away years ago, sadly. Tech support should be on its way. Unfortunately, with no GPS and the treacherous terrain, plus this weather, who knows when they'll arrive. That sounded kind of ominous. Well, yeah, that really sucks. That really sucks. So I'm not getting any GSM service either. I'm afraid not. Oh, heavens. How I miss my 4G. Okay, what if I told you I'm tech support? What if I told you I'm tech support? Well, uh, you'd make Luca a very happy man. See, 
my love life. <sighs> yes. <sighs> Why am I about to pour my heart out to a stranger? Because I'm a main character in a video game. Because I'm incredibly well versed in the matters of the heart. Because I'm incredibly well versed in matters of the heart. Oh, look, my friend. See that beautiful waitress over there. Her name's Anna. The prettiest name in the world. Just listen to it. Anna. Anna. Luca is so in love with her. Uh, sorry, but what does this have to do with the GPS and internet being down? Well, this isn't the Middle Ages, Buzz. I can't just walk up and talk to her like some troglodyte. <laughs> you can't? <laughs> no, no, no. Of course not. Not in this digital day and age. Oh, I can't rest until I see which way she swipes for me on garlic. Is that some kind of dating app? The best there is in Transylvania. I would use garlic, definitely. Um, what if she's just not into you? What if she's just not into you? Oh, Luca will just look for another girl. I guess. But... I need to know first. Can't make any moves before that. Huh, that's a very mature way to see things. Nice. Eh, life is too short to cry over spilled milk, friend. <laughs> Plenty of pretty girls in Transylvania. Don't you worry about that. I just hope true. she doesn't fall for that hipster Vasile. With his trimmed beard and his fancy haircut. Ah, oh, damn that hipster. With his fancy haircut and his nice beard. <laughs> God damn it, I like this guy. Okay, um... Let's see, uh... Can you help with, with Tsuika? Luca, help me out with this Tsuika thing. No, 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 thank you. Got to keep a clear head when steering the couch. <laughs> I meant, do you have any idea what I could do so it doesn't hit me like a freight train? Um, I remember reading about that on a forum recently, but... My memory isn't what it used to be. Oh. If only the internet was working. People on the internet have the attention spam of a mayfly. What are you eating there, Luca? What are you eating there, Luca? Oh, just had my mamaliga. But mamaliga. I'm afraid it's all gone. Do you what think I could have the little cauldron? Uh, I'll bring it back. Well, uh, sure. As long as Rodica doesn't notice. Help yourself. Cool. Thanks, dude. So, should I just ask her out for you? What if I go ask her for you? What is this? Fort grained in the 18th century? Huh. I'd be left out of the inn. <sighs> Fair. Okay, see you, see you later. later, Luca. Talk to you soon, Buzz. Okay. Wait, what, what, what was that cable? That cable? It's a cable running from that inn to the reddish gate. Probably internet, I'm thinking. Okay. Must be pretty important around these parts, this cable. This cable goes everywhere. Why is it trapped like that? All I can do is follow it, I guess. Huh. Well... Guess you wanna have everybody online? Okay. Oh. Where does this go? The red-ish door? That's... okay. I see. 
a conspicuous ornate gate with an intense red glow emanating from behind it. Did you swallow a thesaurus while I was asleep? Pray <laughs> remain unobtrusive, feline. Sure. There's a sculpture of a bird above it. A raven or a crow, I think. Hmm. Things are definitely bird themed. So, some creature of the, the Corvinite family, probably? Stop right there, little chicklet. What's your business with the Corvins? Uh, are you talking to me, ma'am? Why, yes. Yes, I am, sweetheart. You are trying hmm. that door over there, and it's for me to decide who goes or doesn't go through it. Okay. Hello, Babushka. Um... Just got curious? I just got really curious. Such an interesting door. Why, yes! Yes, it is very interesting. What business have you with the Corvins? Okay, I lied. I just need to go in to follow mm -hmm. that cable there. I'm trying to restore the internet and GPS to the place, you know, doing some good. Oh, so you're with the people that come fiddle with the cables every once in a while? Exactly. Well, they all know the answer, so tell me this. How many pieces did Corvin's heart break into? I think it's five. Hmm, who is this Corvin guy? Who's this Corvin guy you keep mentioning? Don't play dumb with me, Chicklet. Shoo now, shoo! I'm not really sure I understand what's going on here. You can't grasp the concept of password protected entry? Don't they have <laughs> internet where you came from, Chicklet? I like her. Okay, uh, what else do we have here? Uh, um, okay. You do realize I'm male, right? Age and gender and race mean nothing. You're all chicklets to me. <laughs> well, I guess that's sort of nice. You're all chicklets to me. I gotta, I gotta remember that. Okay. It seems I've forgotten my password. I seem to have forgotten my password. Any suggestions on how to proceed? There's always the password recovery system, chicklet. Oh, cool. How do I access that? Ah, Lord knows where he is right now. It's a he? Yes, that's my husband. Yuan. He could be anywhere right now, but he's probably hanging around the inn, like always. Like always. Um, uh, why can't you be the password recovery why system? Why can't you be the password recovery system? Does your wife do everything around the house while you just uh, lie around? I don't have a wife. Doesn't surprise me. Hey. Oh, sick burn. How do I recognize your husband? How do I recognize your husband? Big silly black hat and bigger and sillier white mustache. Thanks. Okay, I think I know the guy. Can I go in now? Can I go in now? As soon as you tell me the number of pieces Corvin's heart broke into. Okay. I'll get back to you on that. Well then, let's see the old man. Do 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 do. Highway to the danger zone. We have no more audio. Hey friends. Can you recover a password for me? I'm here about the password recovery. I'm here about the password recovery. What? What's that? I forgot my username and password. You what? Uh, I mean, I, I forgot my password. Hmm. Oh, all right. Well, do you have the letter? What letter? Letter? What letter? The Y. What? What? No, I'm afraid I don't. Come back when you have it, Sonny. Got a scoop. What? All right. Well, I... Goodbye and good riddance. I got this. Is that a Y? No, man, I don't want to hurt the guy. God 
Damn you. Can I take his vinegar? Looks like a vial of vinegar. Hmm. Can I take his bread? Okay. I kinda... kinda want it. Kinda? Low-key? Watch out! What? What? You just said watch out! I did? Oh, I did. What? Okay. Oh, watch out! That there is not vinegar! It's not. What? No, what? It's a powerful solvent. I, uh, uh, I mislabeled it. <laughs> Silly me. Nearly killed myself with it. Okay. Not to mention me. Can I still have it? What? Yes, yes, take it. Just don't put it in your salad. What? <laughs> okay. What? Sure. Oh, darn it, now I'm doing it too. Uh, thanks. Okay. If this is a dissolvent. We have no idea what's happening okay. anymore. A rubber band. And I guess this is a what? Ha! In your face, kid! Man, that stuff was powerful. Okay. I've got the letter. Alright. You'll need the illuminator. What? What's an illuminator? Thing magic makes light. What? You know what to do with it, right? You mean a light bulb? Not really, no. Illuminator goes first, then you add the letter and start counting. What? Huh. Could you be a little more specific? The old Corvinus heart. Light that sucker up. Then add the letter. Then start counting. What? Light All that now. sucker up. I guess. Okay. Bye. What? Bye. Okay, I see. What, what is this? Okay, there's a thick glove that somehow made its way up there. Can't imagine how that would happen, but there it is. Okay, cool. Let's see. Um, heart was over there somewhere. And the needs. Hold on. Looks like something this. T it's way too hot to touch, and I don't see a light switch. Okay. Do I maybe. Does a thick glove help? Hmm, do I need that glove? Do I? I think I do. I think, I think I want it. It's a shiny object. As has often been the case, can't reach it. Oh no, what to do? Low-key kitty. Yo, kitty, I need your climbing skills to get that glove up there. But do it, uh, do it stealthily, okay? Gotcha. What a ninja. I'm an ninja. Show off. <laughs> ninja. No, because we're in an inn. Uh. Okay. I think I want to spend some time listening to the radio one day. Maybe later. Okay. Use this glove on this light bulb. Okay, this should stop it from burning my fingertips. Nice. Can I keep the glove? Nope. Wait, what do you think you're doing? What? I'm... I need this bulb. My folks are from around these parts. Oh, sure. Silly me. Why don't you grab the statue while you're at it? Hey, I'll, hmm. I'll bring it back, okay? I need this. For such a goody two-shoes, you sure do borrow things a lot. Shut up, cat. Mm. Can I take the statue? Because I would if I could. It's just for watching and being in awe of. Yeah, it would look great in my living room. It's just for watching and being... God damn it. Apparently she isn't... Okay. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so there's a heart. I guess that's what I 
what I need here. Uh, Perfectly functional. Could you please not say? Hold on, spotlight. A spotlight that's supposed to be lighting that hard thing on the wall, I think. It's not working. No light bulb. Hmm. I don't think it's busted. It just needs a light bulb. If only I could do something. Uh, about it requires it. a light bulb. Actually, okay. I'm positive. Damn you, Kervin. Okay, wait. Hold up. I destroyed your shit. Hey, what do you know? An X slingshot. You must have cheated or something. Just admit defeat, Junior. Fine, who cares? I was bored of that thing anyways. So, can I keep the parts? Whatever. What a nice kid. Later. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What a guy. Okay, hold up. Can I do it from here, maybe? Yeah, that works. Uh -huh. And it fits. Symmetry, I am really into you. Can I fit this in here? There, there we, go. we go. It will now project a Y on that heart shape. It's neatly divided okay. into nine parts. I guess that's my password right there. Nine? Nine? Nine, nine, nine! <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like I had to. Uh, I have this rubber band. I have this rubber band here. And does its whimsical elasticity not elicit post-conscious, vaguely subcultural impulses to make it go boing-oing? <laughs> it actually kind of does. It is your oh postmodern uh, Homo sapiens sapiens volens nolens duty to resist. Sustine tapstine ab ovo usque ad mala. Okay. Whatever that means. Do I have? If anything else here. Actually, I like the the art critic. She's fun. What is the significance of the divided heart? It is clearly a corollary of the coronary metaphors which permeate the opacity and quintessential divergence of pervasive aesthetic hierarchies in the artist's oeuvre. Uh, I agree. Yeah, exactly what I thought. What about this cauldron? What do you think of this cauldron? An unrelentingly piercing allusion to corporeal gastronomic enslavement. In the almost puritanical form of a hemisphere, wrought of sacrosanct hunger, both telluric and spiritual. You nailed it on the head. Yep. She, she speaks right, right out of my heart. That's exactly what, uh, exactly what we all want to hear, right? Let's show the pocket full of trash. I again. have this pocket full of trash. Ah, ah. Such a puckish postmodernist cliche turned anti cliche, or as some would put it, mud full reversed boilerplate. Not an entirely surprising denouement coming from a distinguishably inexperienced dabbler in the arts, but one I uncontemptuously applaud nonetheless. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just trash, really. Precisely. Wink wink, as they say. She's such a wise person. I'll leave you to her critique. Indeed, indeed. 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 Oh hey. Faded uh faded mural. It's a withered portrait of a man with a fiercely intense stare. There's fiercely. there's something about him. Something strange but familiar. Something strange. In the neighborhood. I can't put my finger on it, but I feel like I know this guy. Well, not no, no, but I feel like I've seen his face before. But where? It looks a bit like Vlad. Maybe. Man, this is really frustrating. Who the heck does it remind me of? A friend? A neighbor? Someone in my family? Huh. Who cares? Stop dwelling on it. Your uncle, maybe? I really feel drawn. Drawn to it. Hmm. <laughs> There's nothing to do with it, just, I guess, admire it. He... Who does this guy remind me of? Cho mama. Kitty, who does this guy remind me of? It's killing me, it looks so familiar. I know this is gonna sound bad, but you all sort of look the same to me. That's specious. 
Okay. Well, I guess the answer is 9. So, let's reset our password. Got them old school, new school. It's that CDs. old lady that won't let me in the red glowy place. The red glowy place. Man, she's a meanie. She's cool. I like her. I mean, okay, she's just like doing her job, but still, meanie. She reminds me of my grandma. Nine pieces. That's right, Chiclet. Go on in then. Wait, wait! I look at you now in this light and. Oh! Oh? Corvinus! I. I. Forgive me for doubting. You know. You know. Of course you know. You are mm. back! Corvinus! I'm sorry, is this some access granted ritual I'm not completely understanding? She's gone. Well, okay. someone got really excited about you for some reason. There's that. She was also married and more than a century old. There's that, too. Let's just go in and figure out this blackout. Corvinus! Corvinus! Shut up, kitty. Well, at least I got a fan. Damn you, kitty. You adorable monster. Oh, hey, is it the same portrait? It's a withered portrait of a man with a fiercely intense stare. There's... there's something about him. Something strange, but familiar. Not again. I can't put my finger on it, but I feel like I know this guy. Well, not no, no, but I feel like I've seen his face before. But where? It's just the uh, exact same dialogue. Man, this is really frustrating. Who the heck does it remind me of? A friend? A neighbor? Someone in my family. It's exactly uh. the same dialogue, yeah. Who cares? Stop dwell. Probably exactly the same guy. I really feel drawn. Kitty, who does this guy? I know this oh. is gonna sound bad, but you. I look the same to me. You're speciesist. We got that. Yeah. There's nothing to do. He looks. Who does this guy? Okay. Impenetrable door. Holy wow! Someone really doesn't want anyone to get past that door. That's by far the most secured ancient Transylvanian door I've ever come across. Well, I guess that's where I want to go in. What secrets lie beyond this bard? Well, that's an understatement. But seriously, what the heck is behind this door? Hmm. I guess we're not supposed to get past it. And yet we will there find is out. no way in heaven, earth, or purgatory I'm getting past that door. I mean, I'm curious, but no way we're ever opening this. Are you sure? A severely battered bust. I think it's supposed to be the guy in the portrait. Who would deface hmm. it? Why are their swords driven through it? Did the populace really hate this guy? What's the story here? What's his story? The bust is incomplete, but if this is the guy in the portrait, there's a strange familiarity here. It's I... unmovable, and I'm frankly <clears throat> afraid to touch it. There's like swords sticking out of it. I'm gonna take the sword. I can't take. Can't take any of the swords. Okay. X runs. They protrude out of the wall like little fragile bones, bathed in the red, disturbing light cast from that sinister window. Easy there, Lovecraft. <laughs> this I was love definitely a very convenient ladder at some point. Not anymore, though. Had they still been a ladder? Yeah, definitely. Okay, Kitty, can you maybe... Go get that hatch, girl. Fine. Okay. Ouch. Sorry, Kitty. Didn't see. Uh-huh, so that's where the cable goes. Oh, I can sense it coming. Can you? Why couldn't it just be an eye-level hatch? Why? I just hope it's not locked. It's not, right? I'm not exactly short, but that hatch is way out of reach. Hmm. God damn it. Oh, man, that must have hurt. Huh. <laughs> 
I should really stop. Could that, uh... Can that do permanent damage? I hope not. This was supposed to be a wholesome adventure. We're deep in animal <laughs> cruelty territory here. I'm sorry, kitty. I don't want to torture you. <laughs> I really I've heard don't. enough sarcasm out of you, kid. Yes, it hurts like hell, and I'm not doing that again without some protection. I'm so sorry, kitty. On it. Are you sure, kitty? She's not doing that again without some kind of protection. Ah, goddammit. Okay. Well, I guess, uh... Of, it kind of would fit her little head, but we'd need to strap it down somehow. Hmm, I see. Trash. That would just make. God damn it! Okay, rubber bands. Make a little helmet. What do sure. you know? Got myself a cute little makeshift helmet. Okay, take this. <laughs> Did she? <laughs> I think she went cross-eyed. The things I do for you, Kerwin. Love you, kitty. I think I found the source of the problem. It's some kind of internet GPS jammer thing. And now it's history. You're awesome, kitty. Tell me something I don't know. Okay, so I can't go in there? Can you open this? Look, man, we got through some pretty stacked against us odds, but that door? Nah. Hate to say it, but it's not happening. I oh, just really, really want to know what the secret behind it is. Yeah, well... Well? I was trying to think of a way to say some secrets are best left uncovered without sounding cliche, but I failed miserably, okay? We don't need to poke our snouts into every corner of this country. <sighs> yeah, maybe next time we visit. Maybe. Hopefully. So, oh, I can't go in there anymore. Okay. Well, I guess next time's gonna be a while. Anyway, let's visit Luca and see if he can help us with that. What is it called? Swaika stuff. I think we all can need a good drink. Internet's back on. Luca, the internet's back on. Oh yes, yes. I was just getting on garlic. Let's see here. Oh. Oh. Oh man, w what is it? I is it bad? Well, uh, kind of, but uh, in a way, not really. Did she go for you or Vasile? Um, neither. She's uh, into... Girls. Huh. Who knew? <laughs> oh man, sorry about that. Hey, don't worry about it. Plenty of fish in the sea. At least that hipster Vasile doesn't stand a chance either, right? <laughs> Goddamn hipster. Right. But could you look up that thing about Suica now? Oh, sure thing. Let's see... Alright, here it is. Buzz says here that swallowing a spoonful of vegetable oil before drinking <laughs> coats your inside so that alcohol doesn't absorb. That might actually okay. work, but don't just try this at home and all that. Never underestimate oil. your audience's intelligence. Friend. Here, have some of mine. Norok. Well, thank you, good sir. Ugh, that was almost worse than Suica. Alright, it would seem I'm oiled up and ready to go. Delicious. Vegetable oil. Vegetable. I don't know how he said it, but it sounded funny. So, was this like a mole you were guarding? Uh, no. Okay. Um, I was. You were guarding? Let's have a drink. I'll have that drink with you. Alright, here you go. On the other side of the 
Aj ten, Norok! Norok. Hmm. Like a okay, friend. Ask me anything. I ten. Um. What's with the nasty attitude? All right. What's with the nasty attitude? Rodi looks like he's one of ours. That's what I was afraid of, Ishti. Look, it's nothing personal. There are certain expectations people have from townsfolk living next to ancient castles in Transylvania. Yes, it was either this or perpetually scared and covering in the dark corners. But there's no need to be scared. Not anymore. So, we're just nested to foreigners since they kind of expect it. Just a recommendation Fair. from the Transylvanian Tourist Board. Not tourist boards again. Tourist boards are the best. I hope that the, that the tourist information uh, already opens. If I get back there. I hope there's a nice fish lady in there. Okay. Um. Hmm. That mean nothing to be afraid of. What anymore. did you mean by nothing to be afraid of anymore? The ancient castle up on the craggy hill. It's got a pretty bad reputation. Actually, so bad that no one ever even claimed it for hundreds of years. Until Baron Ferenczi came. That is. Him and his strange sounds and experiments. Well, that all lasted until one night there was a big boom. Boom! And no one ever saw the Baron or his men again. Interesting. This look hmm. like. Weird. How does this Ferenczi look? No one ever saw his face. Always huddled up in a huge trench coat and his face hidden. We're all glad to be rid of him. If rid we are. Curse him for messing with our superior Transylvanian broadband. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Always with the internet. Uh, what's it about my last Come name? Come on, let me through, guys. My cousin's waiting for me and dinner's getting cold. Mr. Corp. Kerwin. I think you have enough on your plate already to worry about that. Just old local legends. And the resembles Roddy? Do you see it? Oh, I see it, darling. What resemblance? What are you talking about? There... There might be things in your past. Well, not your past. Dark things you might have to look into in the future. When the time is right. Are you guys okay. just shamelessly teasing something that I won't even get to explore until my next adventure? <coughs> we would not dare, Master Corp. <laughs> Kervan. Um, where were we? Is there a sequel to this? I hope there's a sequel to this, I gotta get that. Um, okay, I'm looking for a girl named Peace. This is all fascinating, but I'm here looking for a girl named Peace. Yes, she was here. She got some supplies and left. For the castle! Okay, well I guess... Is it me or is there a thunderclaps every time the castle is mentioned? Is it me or there's a thunderclap every time the castle is mentioned? The castle? I don't hear it. <laughs> Rodi? I've mentioned the castle a lot and I never hear any thunder. Must be my imagination. Okay then. I need to get to the castle. Then I need to get to the castle. Talk to Luca. He'll probably take you there if there's GPS again. Is the castle abandoned now that Ferenc is uh, apparently gone? Oh no! It's a rightful heir, Vlad, has since returned. Vlad, huh? Indeed! Tell me something about this Vlad. He loves... Yes? 
to battle! Oh boy. Oh, God damn. What else can you tell me about the castle? Well, it actually was an old monastery hundreds of years ago. It somehow got corrupted sometime in the past and they tore it down. Yes, nothing but the steeple remained and they built the castle around it. <laughs> Interesting. Well, Is thanks that... for everything, Rodika and Ishvan. You're welcome. Hmm. We're just glad to be able to be our own hospitable selves again. Isn't that right, Isti? It is! And the sooner you get the heck out of our town, region and country, the better for everyone. Enjoy your <laughs> stay in a beautiful scenic Transylvania. Thanks, I will. Norok, my friends. A couple of things, young. I drive one of these, you know, picturesque horse-drawn taxi carriages. Ah. Oh, yes. The horse-drawn taxi carriages. Terrible, just terrible. I mean, oh, no. all these complain about us using GPS devices because it's not believable. I mean, my goodness, take a look around, people. Want me to get okay. you to your destination or would you prefer we get lost in eternally dark and damp woods, people? Make up your mind, mm. you silly person. Yes, I, I guess it just adds to the I mean, authenticity of it all. We have no highways for so-called... Gotta get lost in the dark woods from time to time. How are you doing, Luca? Can you take me to the castle? Hey, Luca, could you take me to the castle? To be honest, I'd rather not. But what the heck? You're my friend now. Oh. Meet me outside when you're ready. Okay, see you later, See you buddy. later, Luca. Talk to you soon, Buzz. We should exchange phone numbers, maybe. Okay, can I do anything else in here? Oh yeah, I want to see if the tourist information is open. Let's see, hi cat dog. What a weird creature. Still closed. God damn it, I want to get in there. I've had enough tourist information stuff for a while. God damn you, Kervin. Okay. Well then I guess we gotta find our way to the castle. What a it's quaint a little horse-drawn carriage. Good to know there's a functioning vehicle around here. That's a good horsey. Yep, we've been here before. Well, Kid A, I guess it's off to the castle. <laughs> Yep. Vlad's castle. Let's do it. So you were apprehensive around the town folk, but a guy called Vlad in a dark castle on a craggy hill that's actually a desecrated monastery just gets a, sure, let's do this? Don't take this personally, Buzz, but the fewer humans, the better. Well, maybe except Luca. He seems marginally better. Good guy, Luca. Good guy, Luca. What a guy. Oh. Hello, friends. Just one of them is the masks? Okay. A group of fierce, intimidating masks are blocking our way to the castle. These must be the masks the legend speaks of. The legendary masks. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit scared right now. Yeah, I, I can kind of Walk see Walk no further. Oh. Turn away and leave. Okay, um, I really need to get through. Come on, I really need to get through. Not without word from the master. He's expecting me? He's expecting me. No one is expected. We know nothing of you. Leave and do not return. Hmm. Nice evening? Nice evening, huh? Turn around. Leave. That was a little rude of you. Wonderful weather we're having. Uh, I need to talk to Vlad. I need to talk to Vlad, right away. Truly, you mock us. Leave. What if I don't? 
It's imperative that I make it to the castle. Hi, it's imperative that I make it to the castle. We are under strict orders not to let anyone through. Turn around, leave, do not return. Strict orders from who? From he who rightfully owns the place. Turn around, leave. Okay. I think I'll return to town. Bye. This doesn't get me anywhere. Okay, what was it? The masks were afraid of the the cat dog? The girl and, and the dog and the cat? Hold on. Can I borrow your kitty? Here's an idea. Hey, Maria, here's an idea. Why don't I walk Kiskis in the mountains for you? I'm headed that way. I don't know about that. Look, I normally would tell you never to give your pet away to a stranger, but... Uh, look, I'm on a magical quest, and I need Kiskis' help. What do you say? I'll bring him right back. Hmm... I would say no, but... You do have a magical talking cat, and you don't seem like a bad person. I you guess I can make one exception. I would not ask if it wasn't super important. A and Kiskis will enjoy the mountain air. All right, bye bye Hold on right there. I may be young, but I'm not dumb. I hold on your passport until you bring my kitty back. Thank you. You're all right, kid. Come on, Buzz, fork it over. Mm. Okay, everyone know their roles, right? Yeah, I'll do my best. Okay then. I've come with kitties. I say you let us through. Whoever you are, be... Be gone with your trickery. Who I am? I am Miwara, and this is my trusty sheepdog, Azor. <coughs> now like step aside and let us through. It is them. It is them! You have returned. You truly have returned. Forgiveness! Forgiveness! I had no way of knowing. You are forgiven. Your path to the castle is open any time. Very good. Get out of the way, you fools. Damn. That's some nice giant metal flute skills. Whatever that instrument is. Here he is, as promised, safe and sound. Yay! Did he help you on your magical journey? Him and Kitty defeated an army of scary mass people all by themselves. Wow, really? How did they do that? Well, we're cats, so we did what we do best. We outsmarted them. And I think I have the perfect name for your kitty. How's Azor sound? OMG, it's perfect! Azor! That's a nice name. Excellent. Well, we must be on our way. Thanks for all your help, Maria and Azor. Take care, Buzz and Kitty. I love you, buddy, but you are one confused feline. Hmm. It's just a barking cat. Nothing weird about that at all. I think this is one of the few animations in the game. Probably not the only one. But it's not a lot of, like, animated cutscenes. Where did my where did my chariot go? Ooh, can I stare into the abyss? All right, I'll admit it. My knees are trembling just a tad. It's a long way down to the bottom. Sort of makes you wonder what it would feel like to just jump. Just do it. Get it together, Bazinski. Don't let your memes be dreams. And cut short this incredibly gripping adventure. Not on your life, buddy. 
Not on mine, either. God damn it. Kitty? Not even Kitty could land this one. She's a cat, she lands on all fours. Don't you worry. Ooh, blood red skies. Funny thing, the closer we got to the castle, the redder the sky became. I wonder if it's some sort of local weather phenomenon or... Uh, let's stick with the weather theory. It's a kind of magic... Kinda looks like a crime scene, only in the sky and way less grisly. Okay. She's a ninja, but flying's not in the features list. God damn it. Anything else here? Hmm. Can't get back, apparently. Or that was one visually impressive and otherwise terrifying ride. Mm. I'd rather not experience it again soon. Okay. Let's just say I'm glad we arrived. Not anytime soon, nope. Oh, okay. Guess I'm stuck here. Nah, Kitty stays with me. Okay. Um... Nothing else to interact with, apparently, but the front gate. Run, Kervin! Need to get to the door faster. It's the front gate. I'll bet it's locked. Bet. Do I really want to get past it? That'd be the question. That'd be the question. Locked. I need to find the key. Ah, uh, goddammit. Unless, of course, I squeeze under the gate and let you in from the inside. No way. I'm walking in there first. Oh, why? Because you're the man, huh? <laughs> uh, you might say that. Hmm. Are you sure? No, I should walk in first. It could be dangerous. Oh, because I'm a defenseless little cat, huh? I can totally squeeze under the gate and let you in. No, th that's not the reason. Oh, because I'm a girl then, huh? Hey, it's gentlemanly of me to take mm. the risk before you do, all right? Oh, give me a break. Fine, whatever. Fine, whatever. So, is there a, a fake rock? A very conspicuous pile of rocks right next to the gate. Huh, why would you have a pile of rocks randomly placed next to the entryway? Huh. Aha! Uh -huh. The key uh -huh. to the gate was hidden under one of these rocks. Who but Buzz Kerwin could defeat such a display of excellence and security? Get over yourself and let's just get in. <laughs> See, Kitty? Solved the problem, kept you safe. Yeah, yeah, this damsel in potential distress is overflowing with gratefulness. Let's move. Oh yes. She looks like a very happy kitty. Okay, what do we have here? That's a huge pile of candles. The entire place is lit by flickering candlelight. A total fire hazard, but very atmospheric. Yeah, that's what I just thought. I mean, nice and warm and flickery. Don't think that picture over there is uh, it's very fireproof. Uh, I can keep staring, sure. Do it. Is that, is that the Lord of Light? Azora, hi. Okay, enough of this. Nice and warm, but I don't need them. Can turn them. She's furry. She doesn't need the out. warmth. Hmm. This place is plastered with depictions of what I can only assume are ancient Romanian rulers. Okay. Uh, a little bit cobwebby, but hey, big castle, hard to keep clean. Oh, fair. Not one clean-shaven lord, from what I'm seeing. Why would it be clean-shaven when you were lord? Well, they're cool, but I can't use them in any way. Okay, post movie is that Scarface? What is it with this movie and rappers? Seriously, what is the fascination here? It's uh, I don't know, man. Probably Scarface. Yeah, yeah, it's your little friend. We've met. Yeah, sounds like Scarface. Say hello to my little friend. Well, we must be interrupting, but hey, adventure has got adventure. No time for movie watching now. What are you doing, Mr. It's DJ, a sir? DJ Bald Beard? I don't know. DJ Bald Beard. He's getting real on the wheels of steel. Oh, goddammit, Kerwin. Mm. 
Yes. Okay. He's way too focused for me to disturb him with chit chat. Okay. Mr. Vlad, sir. That is the ruler of the castle. He has a very uh, urban vibe around him. Huh. Sick cornrows, though, I have to admit. Indeed. He's a vibin' voivod, that's for sure. Okay. I'll let you handle this one, gladly. Okay, cool. He's ignoring me. Is he? He's ignoring me. Okay. He needs to watch this past movie so bad. Can I get up there? I can just get up there. What the heck? Okay, man. Don't mind me, I'm just walking around the house, Vlad. Hope that's cool. Huh. That's an interesting view. Very big castle, apparently. Whoa, that's quite the sight. That's the old monastery's bell tower, surrounded by the castle on all sides. Awesome. Hmm. Awesome indeed. Is there anything else I can interact with? Doesn't really look like it. Okay, well let's get back I guess. Uh, what do we have here? Banners! What do they do? There's that cool dragon design okay. on these banners, too. They bring a welcome vertical touch to the sprawling hall. Hmm. Kide, did you know that Dracula comes from Dracul, which is Romanian for the devil? And that in turn oh. comes from Draco, which is dragon in Latin. And of course, she doesn't care one bit. God damn you, kitty. Do not need them. Okay. What's over there? Probably the same view, but Kervin's standing on the other side, if I had to guess. I am so smart. I am so smart. SMAT. Very slow pen. Very slow panel. Tower. Nothing to see here. Okay, and we go back. So what's in here then? It's the tower. Who would have thunken? Okay. Well, obvious chest is obvious. A very gothic looking chest. Nice. Hmm. I kind of want to look inside it now. Let's see. Let's see what's inside here. Some vinyls and a gauntlet. Ooh, I like gauntlets. Hmm. Okay, cool. What about the vinyls? What about them silver coins? What about that silver plate? What are those books? So many questions, so little time. Okay, well, what do I do with that gauntlet? That is the question. Oh, I didn't look at the crest yet. I wonder what it says. Probably something about dragons. Some kind of family crest, maybe. Cool dragon design on it. Man, if oh. I ever get a family crest, dragon it is. Would be cool. 
can go wrong with dragons. It's a proven impossibility. Yeah, debatable. Kirei, did you know that Dracula comes and that in and of course. Okay. Yeah, we all knew that. It's Kirby. cool, but I don't have a use for it. I'll just take it anyway. Kirei, did you know that Dracula comes from Dracul, which is Romanian for the devil? And that in turn comes from Draco, which is dragon. And of course, he doesn't care one bit. Just happy kitty noises. Can you scratch the DJ? I'm not down for that, yo. You talk to him. God damn it. Okay. Wait, do I maybe... Do I use that gauntlet to let him know that I want to duel him? I formally challenge you to battle, Vlad. Oh. Okay, cool. Yo! Here's the thing I'm telling all contenders all the time First of all, you gotta have a throne before you go for mine You just need my cellar for replacement Ever since back in the days when your mama kicked you off the basement Nice castle! Please excuse me if I'm laughing still I've only seen more cobwebs on the shelf Where you keep your rapping skills old and forgotten Much like your grandeur is Ancestors on the wall so they can mock you over centuries oh. Nah, centuries is how long I'll actually be laughing at just how wrong You look with that women's shirt that you got on Yo, it's like I've seen it in my crystal ball And can't forget it's evident Your cat's the only that you'll ever get Oh shit Let's get some bars, y'all What's with the outfit, dude? I sight playing tricks. Hell, your clothes are like booze and decisions. They don't mix well. Your looks hmm. all over the place. I call him like I see him. Let me just channel Indy. He belongs in a museum. Oh shit, man. You could channel Mr. Jones till you ain't even close And it shows the only dope stuff you're saying are quotes So now what's next? You're gonna try the two-headed monkey trick? Kid, I could just say grandfather's name and then they'll bow quick. battle with you, not with your family name. Your only claim to fame is who your grandpa was? Lame. High born, don't make you high skilled automatically. I don't give a fluffy cat's butt about your pedigree. Uh, yeah. It's not my fault, you weak, can't accept your defeat Your name won't ring any bells, there's no buzz on the street Return to the library where you can't belong This ain't a game, nerd, you're better off reading the Necronomicon Oh damn, son, he knows knows man low born librarian but check the skills I've gotten I've dealt with black magic and cultists this is nothing it's like easy mode not even trying having fun kitty cover up this fool with some litter cuz he's done oh I can't I can't, I can't stop rhyming there's something wrong with me, I can't stop rhyming Yo, my words are lethal Syntax too sick for your feeble comebacks Give me any tracks to spit on I'm sicker than fish with people I'm even sicker than their vicar Seen too much craziness Dark come to Transylvania Man, it's all a hazy mess I'm even harder to impress There's cultists coming after me Compared to what I've been through This rap battle's been a laugh to me Ever read the Necronomicon? Please get back to me Now I got a crazy cat that's talking smack to me Sound like fun? Nah, it's one of those raw deals Like it feels like a superpower But it only only works when she feels like it I'm going nuts, that's what's cracking Hey, this talk of crazy huge monsters in the crack and bay Who knows what's next? One problem at a time, that's how I'm at it I'm turning alcoholics into caffeine addicts Getting bombed by cultists, dodging their dark lords Dreading esoteric orders, hating tourist boards I'm never bored, never a dull moment since this started When your cat freaking remembers every single time you farted I just roll with it, there's stuff that I don't get Kind of amazing, how do I carry so much crap without a backpack? Man, it's crazy, I stop and stare at every Thing, not even blinking Then rubbing everything on everything What am I thinking? Whether in Darkham, Fishmouth or Romania Just stop and talk to random people It's a mania 
The crap I have to pull just to get some answers Like dividing hearts, counting pieces for some crazy passwords If it ain't one thing, then it's another Like drinking vegetable oil and fire water? Uh, this world is crazy, surreal, freaking foul and dark Solo monars, masks and cats that growl and bark Anyway, I'm out of here, gotta find my cat a remedy Peace, I'm on my way to more insanity Damn, Kervin got some bars, yo. Cat, let's dig deeper into the bowels of the castle and find peace. Roger that. I'll scout ahead and... Not so fast, Kid A. I'm going in first. I need to make sure it's safe. I can take care of myself, Kerwin. Plus, I'm stealthy, so... Nonsense. You're a girl, after all. It is my solemn masculine duty to keep us both out of harm's way. Oh, God. Fine, you dingus. Go ahead. Lead. Watch closely. You might learn a thing or two. Okay, then. Let's see what we got here. Oh, okay, so this whole thing was just the entrance hall. I see. Now we're in the real castle. Or in some garbage disposal unit. What the hell just happened? Death from above! Oh no. Ah! Whoa, wait, what the? Peace, Busara. Whoa. Y y yes! Wh who's asking? What is this? Who's making it talk? It? Tread carefully, human. We're here to. I don't know what tricks you're pulling, Butcher. But I'm not going down without a fight. No butcher here. I'm a real, bona fide talking cat. Stop struggling and listen. Never! <sighs> I tried. Killer. Listen, peace. What the hell? How do you do this? Talk? A little book called The Necronomicon? Ever heard of it? No. Are you kidding me? No way. Way. Oh, this... this is... this is crazy. Huh. How did Kitty manage to tie her up? Why is that guy not tied up? What's going on here? Why did you tie up my friend? Why did you tie up my friend? He's completely harmless. Why don't you set him free, then? Not yet. He is learning something valuable. Mm. Uh-huh. Okay, um, calm down yet. Calmed down yet? Ugh! Listen, me and Buzz over there have come here looking for you. Your dad sent us. Oh yeah, sure. If that's so, why haven't you untied him? Think of it as an educational pursuit. He's currently learning to stop underestimating me. <laughs> well, if we're on the same side, just set me free. In due time, got some planetary mm. mess to take care of first. Oh god, no. Got anything out of your weird buddy over there? As a matter of fact, I did. Like the whereabouts of Baron Ferenczi? Mm, maybe. I'm listening. Again, we're on the same side. As soon as you untie me, kitty. Okay, guess that's not happening. Okay, what's with you, weirdo? Greetings, biped. Up to the left, then up to the right, then up to the middle, and back up to the right. Hello, kitty. Okay. What are you singing about? What was that singing about? Oh, just directions to Grandma's house. I have bad, bad memory, but strong legs. <laughs> right. Tell me about your grandma. Grandma has very bad varicose veins. She does. All the doggies okay. snap at them, defing their sausages. Oh, that's Lovely. Disgusting. What's your name, buddy? What's your name, buddy? Hey, kitty cat. I'm Nelu. I have strong legs. You sure do. What's with all the planet okay. stuff, Nelu? Ooh, I love my planets. It used to be an astromo. Astrono. 
astronomer. That's it. Then one day, big metal tube you look at starts to hit me right in the head. It did. Bonk. Baron, let me move in here and play with planets if I guard the gate. Hatches everywhere we go. Hatches. Now I guard the gate. Now I play with planets. Now I play with planets. Now I guard the gate. Okay, interesting. Okay, let's see. Um, is that a mushroom? Okay, let's see. How does this work? Jumping conditions not adequate. Okay, so, uh... Jumping condition... Okay, how... How do I? Can I use panels? I can. The hell? Okay, wait. Wait, 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 wait. What did he... What did the guy say? Right, middle, left? What? When? Where? How do I... How do I get out of this? Okay, that's how. Up to the left then, up to the right then, up to the middle and back up to the right. Help! Okay. What was it? Left, right, middle, right. No. Right, left, middle, right. Left. No. Good sir. Oh, okay. I see. Oh, okay. I see. Wait. So, can I, can I do anything when I'm up here? Oh no, okay, I see how it is. I am afraid I see Jumping how conditions. it is. Okay, wait, hold up. So I push the left button. Is that correct? Up to the left, then up to the right, then up to the middle, and back up to the right. Hello. Okay, so I need... need the middle button now. Or do I? Hold up. Up to the left, then. And the right button now. Okay. Right. Is that it? Yeah, looks like it could work. Jump. Next on Saturn. Then I jump on Uranus. And then we go to Neptune. Okay, press that button. Back to Uranus. And we go Saturn. And here's Jupiter. And then I can jump to the ground. Yes. Okay, so next one's middle, I'm pretty sure. It was the last up one. Up to the left, then up to the right, then up. Right one is the last one. Okay, so middle now. And then we go to the right. Okay. Venus. Yoink. Earth. Mars. Jupiter. And button. Come on, press the button, kitty. 
good kitty. What? <laughs> oh, okay, you can collect pumpkins in the Pokemon community game. That's interesting. Okay. Ghost and ground Pokemon need to be caught. Good to know. Good thing I already caught a ghost Pokemon today. Okay, right one's the last one, right? Right. Okay, jump. Boom, Jupiter. Boom, Saturn. Bang, Uranus. And boom, Neptune. There we go. This should do the trick. Well, at least there was some kind of noise. Kind of sounded like a microwave or a toaster. But I'm pretty sure it wasn't it. Okay, now what? Panel again? Yes. There we go. In your face, humans! I've been enjoying this, but I guess I'll be untying you two now. Please tell me what is going on here. All right, let's take it from the top. So this bozo walks in one night with a weird book and starts reading from it. Thus realizing he was singing the sequence to push the capstones in. Thus yet again proving feline superiority. Anything you want to say, Buzz? Uh, I'm sorry for doubting you. Also, glad we finally found you, Peace. <sighs> Well, if Father trusted you two, I guess I should too. So, where is this Baron? It seems like him and his goons are about done with what they came to do here. And they're heading over to Fishmouth. Oh no, not Fishmouth. Ugh, not again. Let's head down that hatch right now. And we might still catch him before they're off. Uh, after you, ladies. <laughs> Looks like we're too late. The Baron's left already. And it seems he got what he was looking for. Ah, okay, it's wings. Kind of. Is it though? Huh. Maybe we're left. Who is this Baron? Who's this Baron? Why were you looking for him? What is he after? Baron Ferenczi. Just one of the many names the Butcher goes by. Oh, the Butcher. We're both looking at the same thing here. What do you think it is they've dug out of that rock there? Hmm. Looks like wings. Looks like wings? Oh my god, that's just like in the legend. Precisely. You shall never dismiss local myths as complete nonsense. A huge pair of dragon wings, that's what they got away with. Huh. Nothing we can do about it now, Carrier. No end to the work. No end to the work. Did you just call me Carrier? Did you just call me Carrier? That seems to be your role, yes. Oh, again with this deterministic nonsense. That's a mighty big word there, buddy. The book shows you to carry it, and there's nothing you can do about it. Okay. Who's the other? The other? Almstein is not like us. Huh. You think, or you know? Neither. I believe. Okay, I see. What does that make you? What does that make you? Unbelievable. I'm a hunter of evils. Huh, like your dad, huh? He's more of a protector of the other. So everyone has their little role in this production, huh? What's kitties, then? I, uh... I don't want to speculate on that. Smart girl. Ugh, never mind. 
guess she's just adorable. No end to the work. No end to the work? What does that mean, Peace? How much of the book have you read? Uh, I read a bit of it once. It made Kitty start to talk. I was frankly too terrified to examine it since. Open it at the very last page. Okay. It, it's writing itself. The work is just another name for the Necronomicon, and it literally has no end. Yet. Huh. Yet? Yet? Nothing lasts forever, right? One can hope. Hmm. So, wait a minute, does this mean... I don't know exactly what it means to be truthful. No one really does. What we do know is that it can change reality around it. And it might be controlled while doing so. Okay. Not by Buzz. Dragon wings? Dragon wings. Just like in the legend, but hey, I'm prepared to believe anything at this point. What does this guy need him for? They do call him the Butcher, so I can only assume the worst. Oh, right. Hmm, fair. Who installed the communications jammer? Was it you who installed the communications jammer? I was trying to sabotage the Baron. Goddamn you. Much good did that do? You gave us quite the headache. Literally. Sorry, mm. I guess. <laughs> Poor kitty. How did you get past Vlad and his DJ friend? Did you have to bust out some dope rhymes? Oh, <laughs> what? No, I'm stealthy. I don't think they even suspect what happened going on underneath them. So what's our next... W wait a minute. M my phone's ringing, but we're deep underground. Everything's upside down around here. Dawn, is that you? Finally. Where the heck were you guys? I've been calling forever. Long story. The butcher was here, but he gave us the slip. We did find peace. She's here with us. Hold on, I'm putting you on speaker. Hello. Uh, yeah, hi. So I found what was hidden in Flamel's abode. The stabilizing element. Yeah, a piece of paper with one phrase written on it. What phrase? I have it right here, one sec. A terrible storm and three bells ringing throughout it shall awaken the beast. Three bells? Three bells? There's a bell in this castle. I wonder if it has anything to do with this. And there was a bell above Flamel's place where I found this. So we look for a third one, right? If Awakening the Beast really is what we want. Good point. Well, is it? Oh, that sounds exciting at least. I have enough excitement in my Good life point. already. A terrible storm. A terrible storm. This freak temp is a Hurricane Herbert if it's to be taken literally. I seem to just nearly miss it every time I get somewhere. Until one day you won't. Okay, shall awaken the beast. Shall awaken the beast? Yeah, that part is a little unnerving. It is a little, true. I feel the same. It probably still needs to happen, right? Most likely, yes. It probably does. Whatever that means. We shall awaken the beasts. Can you reread that for me, Dawn? Can you reread that for me, Dawn? Sure. A terrible storm and three bells ringing throughout it shall awaken the beast. Okay. Is this the constant? So this was the constant Barnabas told me about. The stabilizing element. If only we actually knew what that meant. The Necronomicon is ever-changing chaos. If Olmstein wrote it down, whatever this phrase describes, will probably happen. For better or worse. This is all fine and dandy, but what do we do next? I'm convinced the butcher's left for Fishmouth, with a pair of dragon wings in tow. Mm. Fishmouth. Their evil festival should be in full swing by now. <laughs> you and Kitty shouldn't be showing your faces here again. It's my turn to follow this butcher deep into Fishmouth's stinking guts. Not without looking like one of them creepy cultists, you're not. You need to see the voodoo gentleman about a disguise, Mr. Katype. The password is Fidelio. Tell him Kitty says hi. All right, kids. Head on over to my office. 
I'll meet you there once I'm done with the butcher. Yeah, sounds fair. Chapter 6, the festival. <sighs> I'd made my Still way to the part of shoes. town Buzz lived in. Just as wretched and unappealing as the rest of Darkham. But it was dawn, and that seemed to raise my spirits a little. It was time to look for the voodoo gentleman. Okay. I guess I know where I can find the voodoo gentleman, but can I... Can I go in here? I think that's a dormitory. I don't so, have the time to be traipsing through dorms. God damn it, sir. Nothing resonates. Okay. You would think there's a lot going on on, uh, on the doorway to a dorm. But anyway, I think this is as good of a time as any to just, uh, you know, call it a day. Probably go to the end screen. Oh boy, that's huge. Okay, wait, hold up. Let me, uh... Let me... Just make the chat box a little smaller. Okay. Let's put it here. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, let me put on some music. There we go. So... Is there anybody live who's, who's available? Let's see. What do we have here? Um. Ah. Mark's playing Animal Crossing. Should we should we go over to the Maroonicorns? is also alive, but I don't know if they accept raids. It's just, uh... Let's just show my good friend some love. Where do we... How do I do this? Where do I do that? Uh, there we go. Oh no, I did it again. Save the layout. Great channel. Hey guys, well I don't know if anybody made it to the end actually, but uh, it's highly appreciated of you all to, to be here with me and enjoy this experience. I really love that game. I'm always looking forward to playing it. Like, if I play it, it is. But I got some new achievements, that's pretty cool. So yeah, um, I think I'm gonna be back tomorrow with this, because I really want to get through this. Um, probably around the same time as today, because it's, uh, it's got a bit more feeling. And yeah, like I said, uh, it's very cool of you all to be here, and uh, have a nice rest of your weekend. See you all soon. Bye, friends. Bye. Bye. Bye.